You're good. Okay. You're good. Trash of Cash podcast episode something. I'm Dave, the ADH guy. 115. 115. Then once you get to three digits, I can't count that high. So no, I just no. start thinking about s'mores and give up. I, there was no know? party. There was no nothing. I got 100 episodes under my belt and nothing. You guys gave me nothing. That's not the only hey. thing under your belt, according mm. to your ad you put mm. out for the Trash to Cash Bash. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey. Your yeah, ad is something. Your, yeah, you, we celebrate by not firing you, as most yes. companies do this I quit. Season. You can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Christmas. Christmas was yesterday. Oh, yes. Yes, it was um, wonderful. Did you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it hasn't it actually straight. happened for us <laughs> no, yet. It's still like two, two three but days away, did. but but we're going to pretend like it already happened. And my Christmas was the best Christmas I've ever had. I can't believe I got what I got. I don't know what I it is. I can't believe yet, I got I, a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox. Wow. And a Switch. Just, wow, you got all three. And a Switch. I just stacked <laughs> them on top of each other. I plugged none of them in. No, I don't no. use them. You don't. <laughs> you know, we talked so, to Carrie a lot about his TV, Kevin, and our, our movie podcast that no one clicks on. And uh, mm-hmm. he's always like, oh, I can't see anything on my TV. And I'm just <laughs> like, what are you using as a TV? It's probably like 1940s yard sale fodder that mm-hmm. he got. <laughs> Did they have TVs that's in the 40s, Kevin? Dude, you the one that got 40s, yeah. ago. And that's when it all started, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll try to look it up, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. No. Uh, so yeah, Brian... I use my Philco, my 1940s Philco television. I wanted to start with Brian's comment on the Patreon because, you know, it's it's the right time for it. He wants to know if he can have a hug. And, yes. you know. Yes. Uh, yes, but here's the caveat. Um, instead of Carrie or I or Kevin giving you the hug, it's going to be given and delivered by the creepy creature next to Kevin's picture down below, Carrie, yes. which I'm not sure what it is. Out what that is. <laughs> it's like it looks like of... it's got it's like a dog, but the face is like the dog is turned of... inside out and it's dead yeah. or I don't know. We had yeah, AI make this dead. image. <laughs> I just said Christmassy trash to cash artwork, and we've got this creature on the bottom left that's unsettling to say the yeah, least. Yeah, much like everything AI, it's it's trying to be comforting, but it's also unsettling. Here, it's hidden now. That's a little better. <laughs> <laughs> they can go it's, away. <laughs> yeah, it's sometimes AI can be a little unsettling, but no, I mean, listen, we can get all types of festive up in here. Another year. I mean, are we even going to have another episode before twenty twenty four, Kevin? Usually, uh, no calendars. I think we're not. No, I, would, I don't think I would are. imagine this is the last episode yeah. of 2023. Yeah. Do we, we have do to do like a prediction show and all that for the next one? You know, I what's sold over $2,000 worth of items this year on eBay. State yeah. of the Union. I'm going to do a State of the Union video. State of the Reselling Union video. You're How about that? Take off your mayoral campaign in Bedford? Yeah. Early? That's good. TVs <laughs> invented in 1927, didn't really become staples in the household until the 50s. Uh, okay, so you got Google to work while you were on the internet at the same time. Which makes watching. sense because I was watching. Was I watching Christmas Story? And you know, he's listening to that was set in the late 1930s, and yeah. he's listening to the, the listening radio. to the radio show. Yep. Yeah, and of course, Do you think the like chat. this moment, this brief moment right now, December 22nd, mm-hmm. yes. my sales are completely dead. Is that Complete. because? Is that because yeah. like people can't get stuff in time for Christmas at this point, and they're like mostly yeah, done? They're I mean, gonna go to Amazon. They're gonna go local. Either that, or you got kicked off of selling platforms. Yeah. I other, did but do that. I'm thinking that, that maybe, video is doing well. <laughs> look, so I shut my store down two days ago. Two days ago, I shut it down. I shut it down through Christmas, and then I'm gonna ship the day after Christmas, and then I'm gonna shut it down again for a week. And I had nine sales. I had 13 sales in nine hours right after I shut the thing down. But that was two days ago. Yeah. So that's different that was, than today. That, it was crazy two days ago. But, that's the thing. Yeah. It was selling like crazy. Yeah. And, and I got I got somebody that did a payment dispute on me. They, they bought an item. And then they sent a message that said, hey, I didn't see that you were gone. I'm like, well, obviously you saw it because you'd be seeing this, sending this message. But why didn't say that? And then they sent another message, which I didn't read because I shut the store down. I, I woke up the next morning, read it, and they had put a payment dispute saying I won't respond to them. I'm like, dude, it was like 10 hours ago. Wow. You're killing me. And yeah. you can't cancel the order once they do a payment dispute unless you pay- cancel it through the payment dispute and through PayPal and all that. So I had to do that this morning. That's, yeah, buttons. that's happened to me before where they, they say give me a refund, but they open a dispute. And I'm like, well, I can't now. Maybe you should have just waited for me to respond, and I would have been able to help you with that. So. Yeah, more than gotta, nine hours. Yeah, your store sassy shut down. Dave. Sassy Dave yeah. response. Oh, I get sassy. I was getting a little sassy in uh, the Craigslist Hunter thing today, too, when someone was yelling at Pete uh, for not responding yeah. to them about uranium glass. I'm like, mm-hmm. his job is not to full-time talk to you about uranium glass. That is not his, his <laughs> but he entire didn't life. he like that. He was nice. 
No, I didn't. I responded. I mean, I didn't respond. Where was, Did you was see he my live response? on his no, district or he, something? Was Where just, was he live? It was a chat in there. It was a chat. Oh, chat in his district oh. thing. And yeah. I, I wasn't actually mean. I said I could probably answer the question for you. Pete's a busy guy, right? I was just trying to be helpful. <laughs> uh, but it just it kind of like, wow, these people can get super aggressive. Dude, <laughs> I don't understand. And it's, but you see, you, I guarantee you that person like like unsubscribed or whatever. They just they get so pers. It's tough. I actually yeah. did a video the other day, and I said, listen, I'm I think I'm done responding to every Instagram. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, it's impossible. And it's like. Oof. I, I still try though. Due to a I'm pretty of good. I'm pretty good with it, but it's <laughs> I. I'm very mood based in general, so like there's days where I don't answer anybody because I just yeah. Can't handle like it. every time you're tagged in the Discord, where's Carrie? I try to answer the Discord once, but sometimes Brian answers them for me, and then I, I, just I sometimes don't randomly catch that I'm tagged in the Discord. I like don't think like text for Carrie is a good way to communicate for him because I can't be sure he read it. Like I'll I'll talk to him a few days later and I'll be like oh you saw this I'm like oh I didn't read that part <laughs> right like and I'll be like oh well that was really important and you didn't read it and we all committed to it but so this I think is you gotta talking. call Carrie you gotta Just call FYI. Carrie you gotta call yeah Carrie. I usually answer when you guys call like yeah if you right call away. him he will call absorb him the information yeah I know I, I was him. I was like oh my gosh it's so, a Christmas treat well that well that the Christmas treat is we're gonna you know help everyone out and give him Carrie's number. So Carrie's number, if you need to get a hold of him, don't trust texting or anything. Just give him a nah. call. His number is uh, no worried about it. See. People can text me if they want. Eight zero one nine eight. He's like, Dude, that's really it. Oh, you really gonna do it? All right. I was calling your bluff. Mm. I have 20, 23 eBay sales with a completely shut down store that won't ship till oh after gosh, Christmas. Oh my gosh, dude. I had four sales. Humble uh, well picker over well, here. Just also, hey, okay. people here not making any sales, Kevin, and you 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 are spoiled well, with riches most of them came, coming from everywhere. I, for today, I've only had two, so they they came a day. How yeah, many of them are? Ago. So you've had twenty three sales. I would guess at least thirty two of them are from people viewers, who watch. You. Yeah, yeah, viewers. Mm, the vast majority. No, one, two. What I say, twenty three sales. Two, three. Oh, let's listen to Kevin count. That's good. Four. That's good this entertainment. Is awesome. <laughs> this, is, this is almost as good as <laughs> is watching Kevin on a blank screen trying to yeah. and people still bidding on Dibbed it, by the way. Yeah. They were still 23. bidding. They didn't even see what it was. They we trusted did a live you so auction. much. We did a live auction raid train and Kevin's internet <laughs> failed. Kevin, him, of course. Kevin Dude, just hey, stopped the train dead in his so, tracks. Yeah. I got a tower from T Mobile. I put it up in there and I ran those auctions last night after I failed. I ran the other ones with that and, and it worked. And I'm running this right now, and it looks good. I know, dude. Well, so what's up with? So you're not going to do Starlink? Oh, I might, but I'm going to try this, and I might do. I might have like three layers of internet that are all equally sucky, and they just go between the three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just whichever one's working <laughs> whichever for the day. Whichever one sucks the least on every. You just have to make sure like that. that the. The uh, roosters and the chickens are on the treadmill. The I've always time. run whatnots on this phone and used the cell phone signal, and it's been good all but like once, maybe twice. Yeah. And then it just fell apart. And I'm getting mm. ridiculed. Dave's getting, you can see, he's frustrated. He's just like, oh, whatever. And I had it all down. It was right. I had 30 section auction, sec, sec, second auction. Second auction? I had yeah. all the stuff ready. This isn't, I knew what I was doing. It was a swinger auction, there. Kevin. Carrie gets on and knows nothing about anything, can't do anything right. And you I was, I was so, him. I no, I criticized, I texted him last night that I was upset mm -hmm. with him actually. So mm -hmm. I, I will, you know, that's the one thing I like to commit to is I will be honest with you. If you annoy me, I will tell you. Yep. You never need a guess <laughs> if Dave's happy with you. And I texted no, him. No, I, I thought I might have annoyed you too. And then yeah. you, you confirmed it emphatically. It was, and it was like, it was a combination Which is why of I called like, Carrie. I called was, him to make sure he's okay. It was a combination of like feeling like no one kind of okay. We we like to air our dirty laundry on the, on the show, guys, because like, that's how you make a podcast not fall apart. You just be open about it. You just, you just talk about it. You know, and it's it's partially my fault because I set up a training for the big dipped it dipped it live stream without really getting confirmation of when these two guys could do it. And when I scheduled it, neither could do it. But I would argue Kerry could have done it. He was at the card mm -hmm. store and he didn't show up. Mm -hmm. And I was a little frustrated with him for not showing up. Because you then during the part, auction, though. I know I didn't tell you that last night. That's why I'm airing it here in public. <laughs> okay. So 
I was a little frustrated that you didn't show up, but then on top of it, and it was to be expected because you didn't show up, you didn't know to do the 30 second auctions. You didn't know you weren't supposed to play music. And so there was a couple oh, things. And so I'm trying to see, tell you I what didn't... to do. And then you're snapping at me for telling you. I'm like, well, I'm just telling you because you didn't come to the training. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to have a classy auction. And then you were like, don't well, be as classy. Long as and I'm like, I as... can't not be classy. I'm a classy person. I actually don't know how Whatnot goes, gets away with it. But on, I don't on know District either. I didn't know that it. was an issue. Honestly, you, I wouldn't have done it. You because just I didn't go can't to the thing. do copyrighted stuff, he said. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like some Mozart's not. It's beyond trademark. But I don't know what classical you were playing i was i was, was also on youtube streaming it and i didn't comment, want to demonetize uh, comma cleanser guy i forgot his yeah name. yeah so anyways about it. yeah so i was G i was irritated and then yeah, kevin was, was really like the name of it I'm not and then kevin was like <laughs> kevin was like oh, i'm probably not gonna stream on facebook because it's hard i'm like bro you're gonna stream on facebook <laughs> so he yeah, had already annoyed I thought me a little it was hard but i had already <laughs> done the hard work weeks ago and i forgot that i had already done it yeah. So it worked, yeah. which well, is good know, for you guys, part of, cause, you know, part of me was and part of me as a human being in general was like, I like to just go in guns blazing unprepared. And mm -hmm. Dave that is, that wanted is, to I, be that's prepared, the thing. I was which I should have been. I agree. I didn't go to that meeting. Dave was but right. I, I was wrong. Eric, I figure out everything I need to know. I was prepared. I didn't screw anything up. I just have bad just internet. Have horrible internet. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, yeah, no, I, I mean, I usually get away with being confidently unprepared in most things. Yes. So. Yes. And it, it was I fine. I just will say, like, I don't even know why they have 60 second auctions. They're no. ridiculously long. The only reason I, had... I did those is like, I didn't think I had enough for 45 minutes. That's I had, I did it. well, the problem is that every you time, got more. you know how, no, this I is didn't the realize it was 20 seconds. Uh, exactly. Added it's 15. I didn't realize it's that 15, I didn't go but it's to the aggressively <laughs> long, but that's yeah. what they told us. Like on whatnot, if you bid in the last one second on Kevin's auction, it adds five seconds on I... dib bit right now. It adds 15. And so it's like a 30 second auction still lasts three minutes. Yeah. So that's why I, like one minute's never necessary. I just sold more things today on whatnot in a total of forty five minutes than I did yesterday. Of course, my internet sucked. In an hour and twenty minutes, I sold less. I, I sold more money on Dibdit with less items, but it took way longer to sell them. Ah, yes, yeah, well, because I mean, that that refresh is fifteen seconds. It's too long. Yeah. They need to fix it. It's it's really yeah. brutal. The cool but thing about district and dibbed it like the people who run it they seem pretty open to to changing stuff and they've <laughs> they just in like the it, last they change it well yeah. in like the last month since we started they've updated several things that have been yeah. really cool like several well, you know what's cool about that is i'm like trying to view it as like this thing is totally moldable by us so i'm literally yeah, saying cool. i sent them a long message today i was like yeah. listen i want a bulk shipping page like ebay mm -hmm. and right next to it i want oh. like the full amount that the customer paid right next to it the full amount that the shipping label is going to cost and then i want a little thing right there where i can write in partial refund of six dollars when i hit print label it sends them the partial refund if i want to do that and if it's you want to do all it set but up. So, I think that's so even cool. an unnecessary step. If you get your progressions right, this is what I love. One of the biggest things I love about Dibdit. I love the shipping on there. It is so much easier than any platform uh, I've ever but, used. But I, I need it. to be able to mass print out packing slips for when I do like one to 200 items. Yeah. And the fact that I have to go back to my computer to look at each one and pull yes. it up is a pain in the butt. That was a okay. pain. Yeah. But it was, I don't do it was that simple anyways. though. It was myself. simple, really easy. But do if I could do orders, like what I do with whatnot, where I print a hundred packing slips, then I go pack everything up, write a name on it, and then go print it all together. But that's, that's didn't that what got you in trouble? Because you did all that and you didn't adjust them all, and you got screwed, and then you had to go back and redo it. You no, whatnot doesn't. Well, I didn't really understand mm -hmm. whatnot and how to adjust on whatnot <laughs> and what the limitations were. Like with this, it doesn't matter. Like you can just go use UPS if it's too but heavy. The that's beauty the nice is thing. the money, could, just like eBay, that all the money comes to you, and then you take care of all the shipping. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. it. I like you that. can make money on the shipping. You just talk about doing refunds. I'm actually, I, I set my shipping so low and the progressive. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have to that. Do I'm pretty close, and yeah. I don't have to do any refunds or anything like that. And once people get that. It's you, you have shipping options. You can ship it on another site. You can ship media mail in there. Like whatnot. You can't do media with something else. You can't yeah. do, you can't do any of that. Yeah, I like, love like this really. shipping platform. Anyways, we're not, we're not here to talk about Dibdit. That just, you know, naturally came up because it was all day yesterday, <laughs> literally all day. So, yeah. but today is a new day. And the new day, what I was about to say was, you know, there's not a ton of sales for me right now. And I think mm -hmm. sales will stay moderately slow mm -hmm. until probably maybe two days after it's Christmas. It's Krylov. Krylov maybe even the day after the Christmas. Sales. Well, no, Krylov I think it's just it. people have done their shopping or they're going to do it locally because it's last minute. 
And then after Christmas, people might have gift cards and the sales will increase yeah. again. What do you think? The week after Christmas, we're going to see a bump? Well, yeah, I think Krylov will turn Leroy, eBay back on the week okay. after Leroy, Christmas. blood, sweat, and sell in our effort to hashtag give an eBay gift card for Christmas. There will be millions of dollars of eBay cards out there for people to spend. All right. I, I have no context on that, but thank you. I de- you, hit, you Man, you really don't watch any of my videos. I've been giving no, away gift cards for, not. for like a month and a half. Telling I people, hey, you know what I did, Kevin? I so pressed that little I'm button that says, I'm not yeah. interested when you yeah it. so i'm still subscribed as well but i don't see them because it's don't just, show uh, me more of this every I time i go across some of your things it's just like it's outrageous Ooh, liar, listen, this is good. Remember this my diaper year. doesn't work whatever it's always something <laughs> off-putting do you have those people in your life you don't really want to buy a gift for but you got to buy a gift for like your kids teachers and all that well you don't have kids but you get the point and no. so don't give amazon cards don't give cards to burger king give amazon or give eBay gift cards and then we all get a good january that's a good idea. You know, I, I will say, like, Hashtag Leroy. you know, Mikey, who's been helping me list and stuff, he was over here and he was, like, looking at this Nintendo Switch controller that I had bought. I paid, paid, like, five bucks or whatever. It was a pro controller. And he's listening it for me. He's like, I can't believe these are only 30 bucks on eBay. I paid 60 for mine. I should have bought it on eBay. I'm like, yeah. There you <laughs> like, go. Just doesn't Dude, I know. used to, in my classroom all the time, you know, girls would sit there and scrolling and stuff and whatever. And, and these, and it's part of the point I want to talk about David later, but. They're in there buying stuff from places that I'm like, dude, check. You know, I talk about hashtag check eBay first. No, like, I mean, this is, I haven't taught in a couple of years, but I'm like, you just paid $50 for that thing. You could get it for 25, 24. Just look at eBay. Like, oh, I'm like, here it is right here. And they're like, oh, like, dude. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I my kids think are aware of it. Yeah, I, know, I would, know. I would think you would have been teaching them history, but I guess. That's but okay. kids, as they get older, you know, as they're not kids anymore, they start to care about the bottom line a little bit more, and then you know, as that's why eBay has the older population. But it's not like they're going to disappear. It, everybody gets older, and they start to pinch pennies a little bit more because they got to pay for all these chickens, all the swing mm. parties. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, my daughter. Did you see so Anna's whole list? was Shein stuff. Like, everything she wants is from Shein, and it's like, that I can't really get on eBay. I think it's called Shein, it's dude. Sheen. I don't Sheen. know what it's called. Whatever. Either way, that's what she wanted. And then Callie wants a bunny, and they don't sell those on eBay. But my cousin, <laughs> my cousin Bugs sells bunnies. Bunny. Okay, my cousin sells Ooh. bunnies. And so I went over to her house, looked at her bunnies, and you know what new pet she just got for her kids, Kevin? You like this? A, a hedgehog. A hedgehog. A hedgehog. Uh, Is that, that's what peace, you had, right? Sal. How did he die? Yes, yeah. Uh, he had he wobbly hedgehog syndrome. Oh, like Sonic. When you like hit him with the, <laughs> so, the robot and it hits him. You and gotta, yeah, you got to make sure that it's getting enough exercise. You got to push it down and then send it off. I, I think they are aggressively not cute is, is my uh, interaction oh, with this hedgehog. It was not cute at all. It was weird looking. It was upsetting. It seemed like it should be outdoors. I, I don't know. It, it seemed like it possible. didn't want to be a pet. It wanted to just it, end Well, around. were you over there in the daytime? Yes. In the daytime, that's when they sleep and they're up all night. Well, why own it as a pet then? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Hey. Like, hey, <laughs> unless you're Carrie. You. Unless you're Carrie. I guess if you're Carrie, that's I would, a pet for you. Yeah, a hedgehog would be a wonderful companion for me. Yeah, but it's, I don't really – animals are dirty. They bother me mostly. Do you, but yeah. do you ever like try to get eBay change neutral feedback? No, not really. No, I don't either, even if it's like ridiculous. But And I got one. But I had a lady just totally upset send me a message about this neutral feedback. And she's like, and they won't change it. And it's so wrong. And it's lying and whatever. I'm like, just don't worry about it. That was my advice. But listen to this. Seller took three days to ship after receiving payment. They bought it on Friday. I shipped it on Monday. That's my standard okay? policy. <laughs> right. Exactly. Okay. They took three days after receiving payment to ship it. I received the item ten, in 10 days. Seller should ship sooner if the USPS snail mail, uh, if using USPS snail mail, which of course it was says it a media mail item? Using. Um, That's long. It was Seven a days. t-shirt, I think. It really? was a t- no, no, it wasn't media mail. Well, I know it's long, but nowadays, yeah. are you kidding me? And I didn't ship it till Monday, so it really took five days probably to get there. But if it's going ground advantage to California this time of year, whatever. How would you like it if I paid 10 days after an auction ends, is what they told me. I'm like, well, <laughs> I didn't respond. I just left it as is. Well, I mean, that's really kind of crazy. Imagine people pre-ordering a console or something and paying GameStop up front. There's been many times where I've pre-ordered and then not gotten an item for months. You know, or yeah. I put down well, twenty dollars. Well, dude, I mean, I have two days silly. shipping on my stuff. They bought it on a Friday. Come on, dude. You know, so, I so went that to the means post technically you, you don't even have to ship it out till 
Wednesday almost then. Mm, you have no, two you have to Tuesday. two days. If they bought on Friday, you can ship it out on Tuesday. Yeah, but you can, you can ship it out at Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Yes, technically yeah. within mm-hmm. policy. Carrie knows. Me, I know knows that. How to drive I know this. this. Thing I can't tell you how many labels I have printed <laughs> one minute before they're late. So I, I've been going to the post office a lot to drop off big orders, big package orders, right, from whatnot, did, did, eBay, et cetera, et cetera. And every single time that I go for the last, like, two weeks, the crowd at the post office has been absolutely insane. You know, Christmas holiday makes sense. Like, line out the door. And I will say there's, like, this real power move feeling of just walking oh, yeah. past them all and dropping the packages in the cart. And I enjoy it a lot. And, and the best no, thing is, it's like, I have one of my like, favorite parts of the Christmas yeah. season. And they're all like yeah. looking at me like, wow, he is so amazing. He's like the shipping lord, right? He's got exactly. 100 packages that he dropped off while I tried to ship this one thing that they're going to charge me $12 <laughs> for media mail for no good reason, just because that's what. And like, I, I hand out and cards. I, really I say, follow like, me on TikTok and learn more. I just want to bring do. like a portable desk and laptop and start pirate mm-hmm. shipping stuff for them. <laughs> this is it's like, like I'm charging cut. just a little Take bit. Take a cut. Yeah. Dude, that's <laughs> That is that the old mailboxes, etc. model. Yeah, that they took that shipping model. discount. Oh, uh, my dog. dog hey, somebody in here. Happy. Uh, it sounds like, Carrie, Car- remember the podcast we did when your dog was doing that the whole entire yeah, episode? People true. didn't like it. I was, I had no choice. Uh, Kevin has multiple rooms. Well, people got mad at me, Carrie, because I was talking, I had Molly out here with me because our fire alarm was like beeping. But it was 20 feet up to the ceiling. It's that stairwell where it's like super high. You can't actually yeah. reach the fire alarm. So I had to get my dad to bring a ladder that he has. And he wasn't going to be there till 4. And I was saying, like, oh, Molly's upset. She doesn't like the beep. That's why she's out here. And everyone's like, you're such a bad owner. You should go buy a ladder and replace it immediately. You're letting your dog suffer. I'm like, well, <laughs> First of all, it's out here because it can't hear it out here as good. Yeah, and it's not, it's not happy out here. It's not suffering. But yeah, I don't know. Exactly. I guess I'm I was at a dog yard owner. sale. I was at the 21 sale last year, and a stray dog comes up. It was the cutest little puppy, and I'm just petting it, whatever. And they were, I had viewers ticked Andrew. off at me that I didn't take that dog into my car and take it home with me. Do you <laughs> ever feel bad? Like, do like you ever feel bad, away? Kevin? Like using, like that's a stray dog who didn't even have a home. Like you used that dog for views. You didn't, did you give it any treats? <laughs> did you help it in any way? <laughs> no, that's a good idea. I should bring treats with me. Like the you UPS driver, treats. when they yes. drop stuff off here, they're always giving I always think milk bones to the It dog. would be a funny, like, you, you know, that. a lot of people do like Good joke enough. videos, like where they're in the bathtub making fun of us. And if you're going to do a joke video, like I want a picking joke video where like every dog you see, you just like belittle it. It just like <laughs> kids at lemonade stands, you just like take money instead of giving them money. Just like do everything. Just put like, on TikTok. Knock their lemonade over. <laughs> knock the lemonade over. Knock the lemonade yell over. Yell at the sorry. dogs. Tell the Lift owners the their houses are a mess. Like whatever, you know, just beautiful. <laughs> instead of beautiful house, be like horrible house you have here. Yeah, just be like you're so not you old enough for me to take advantage of your deals here. I'm leaving. <laughs> what you do is you do that at the beginning of the video and you cut those clips. And at the end of the video, you show yourself like handing them like a hundred dollar bill after you're gone or something. Oh, uh, yeah, like Jimmy Dart. It's on TikTok yeah, or who, something. Who, yeah. 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 Who started that trend of paying people more at yard sales for clout? Yeah. Who was it? Was Kevin. it? That's good. No, yeah, I think it's it was froggy picker. flips. So every every blame, time so that happens, true, I'm like, I'm blame here's, here's how you know if they're a real legit person. Like, they just do it off camera. Don't do it on camera. It doesn't count anymore if you do it on camera. Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't matter what you do. You're going to get, it, you're gonna get oh, some true. reseller that's exactly. like, oh, you're paying up. You're doing that just for the video. Or... You're going to get the people that aren't resellers that are like, oh, this is ridiculous. You should and pay more than the asking price. And this is why you dump price. out the lemonade and flip the table. Exactly. You <laughs> can't please everybody, so you've got to please yourself. you got to flip the table and feel that joy and power. Yeah. And then go and walk past all those idiots in line at USPS exactly. and be like, I am better than you. Uh, dude, there are resellers. Why, you had a job. Do. I was selling Furbies in June, and I'm prepared for this. <laughs> there are resellers that still tell me that they, oh, I hate these lines. They still wait in line. They want what? them to hands. I'm telling you, there will be people uh, in the comments. Tell work. me, be honest about yourself now. Do you stand in that stinking line? But hold on. No I way. had a comment. I had several comments because uh, I was talking about the post office drop off for some reason. A bunch of people were telling me that they go to the back of the post office 
yeah. and drop off at the do. gate with yeah. a scan mm -hmm. form and the person Ting. at the back gate will literally just scan the scan form and take mm -hmm. it all out of your car for you yeah i need to figure take out if out i can do car. that I never like that. Uh, so one guy in my comments said someone helps him take it out of his car like That's literally the dude on the smoke him. break it back look i yeah. tried it at mine i asked him like look I, when i have these because i've got a, a whole dip dip thing going out of here we got yeah. like a hundred items going out of here today yeah and i would love to they have a nice little dock right there yeah bins right there i'm like Pull i will it. put it there and they're like no no it's gotta come I'm like really why well that's the they let me do thing. it one time do they ever let you take the carts outside the to, to... oh there he goes yeah, there, he's there he goes he's, he's got that here's that the t-mobile tower is amazing right the t-mobile tower is just so good Dude, you, you're, <laughs> is he yeah, pooping no. right now no yeah he's he, he has no audio i like that I no, love that he, he like thinks that. he has audio right he now. He does. Though. He thinks we can hear him, but we can't. He'll figure it out. Oh, there he is. Oh, what's going on here? Nope, we he's, cannot hear you. You gotta, so you gotta, you know, maybe. Uh, I, I feel know, bad. You can see the frustration something. in his eyes. Yeah, he gets all angry and stuff. Yeah, this is usually when he yells at us. This look. He gets this mad. Is when he gets we don't a hear violent. you. We don't hear you. We see your beautiful face, but we don't hear. Oh, oh yeah, we're going upside down now. That's probably the issue. Is that hold it sideways? There we go. That's better. That was the problem. That's why there's no audio. We still can't hear you. Dude, can I tell you, while he's sitting there trying to figure out technical <laughs> stuff, Kerry, he's yes. in there in his stream, and he's, like, just going crazy because he cannot figure out how to turn on Do Not Disturb on his phone. Like I, he... To be fair, I just learned that. You taught me that, like, three <laughs> weeks ago. Uh, you yeah, had but to... you learned it much quicker than him, I promise. It, for him, it was like a seven-minute thing with Ivan, Eddie, and me all telling him how to do this thing. And he's you know, like, technical swipe my finger like... down and hit the focus? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, I have an iPhone 4. It doesn't even have a screen. Hey, Kevin. Can, can you hear me now? Yes. We I can, can hear you. Your mic's not plugged in, but I can hear you. Ooh, look at him. Oh, he's he's, he's got no fart. shirt on now either, guys, if you're oh, wow. listening to the audio. Look at all the nipples. Well, first of all, I want to hear what you just said, but I got to show off. This is this is a Mojo Dojo shirt, Austin NFT. Look at this. Oh, Check out the back. Oh, I, I, know, I was it. wondering, like, because I was wondering why it had spuds and the California raisins on it. Got Michael oh, Jackson man. down here. Take that. it off. I feel like. I feel like to the 80s, though, Kevin, I, I feel like there is nipples. a little bit of an inaccuracy on that shirt, though, because to be 80s, wouldn't it be better if it said Coke, right? Because that, that's the most 80s thing I could think of yeah. as Coke, right? Or clear they Pepsi. Well, it. I mean, yeah, Chris, raisins, that's 90s, Spuds, bro. Fender, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. Air Jordan, it's good. Which stuff. thing did you what want to hear that I said? About? You're like a walking well, advertisement for being stream. middle aged. I love it. I was lipping on your ripping on your live stream because you don't know how to yeah. put your phone in Do Not Disturb, and you've had an iPhone I, for 10, it's 20 in, years. It's in Do Not Disturb right now, and Uncle Steve I, still. You called. couldn't figure it out during your. Th it's in the focus mode. Yes, mm. it's in. The yes, it's in focus. Do Not Disturb. I couldn't figure it out in the other, but I figured it out. And I did think Uncle that Steve might have been calling part of the break your audio just now? Is that what happened? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, Uncle Steve. And it's in Do Not Disturb. Yeah, that is weird. Um, yeah, we were just talking about the post office and stuff. I don't think we were talking about just your lack of technical prowess. That, that's so you just <sighs> technical so you, prowess, but yeah. there's other. Prowess. He has other prowess he wants to discuss, though. Yeah, what what other Go prowess ahead. do you have, Kevin? What other prowess are you are you good at? Man, I'm really good at chipping stuff. Really yeah. good. Yeah, pretty good. Is that what you call Selling it? It's weird stuff? that you stopped doing it, but yeah, that's good. No, that my wife is actually shipping the whatnot <laughs> right now. I gotta ship the chip just in a minute. I shipped all uh, my I shipped all my stuff. So, anyways, what I was saying was now I've been going to the post office a lot. I went in Thursday yesterday. It was a ghost land. Like there was no no one yeah. at all. It was completely I, empty. It was crazy. I pulled in there to drop off my stuff from the day before, and there was nobody in line. I'm like. This yeah. is weird. It was wild. And they Nobody trusts the post office. They're like, nope, no way. Like, nope, you gotta four have days like till Christmas they ain't happening. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> but they really do mark up the prices a lot. Because oh, I hear them checking I, people out. It's crazy. People still send me stuff in the mail, you know, and there's a lot of folks who aren't resellers, but they'll send me stuff and it's retail pricing. And then someone come for resellers. I'm like, dude, do you not know how to use pirate ship? No, they don't. Mom, they don't. Let's any, tell them. Let's tell them. Everybody, if you're not a reseller, everybody out there should be using some kind of shipping platform and printing it yourself and saving yourself a whole lot of money and a whole lot of time. 
I can't you remember. You pay 30, 40% more if you take it into the post Probably office. 40. Probably Depends. 40. Look at those discounts on eBay. Sometimes they're 50% discounts. Yeah. Sometimes they're 28, depending on where it's going and what services. I could have sworn, but... sworn I heard them say something like, oh, you can ship a media mail that starts at $7 or something like that. Some media crazy mail. number mm-hmm. like that. Like, yeah. And I was like, what? what? <laughs> and and <laughs> the first gotta... class used to be 16 ounces and below. Yeah. I got to ask you this, Kevin. When you started shipping on eBay, it was like 20 years ago, right? 30. 275 first class. For, yeah, I'm wondering how cheap it was. 275 for what? When weight? I started, yeah, it w- it had to have been. I started 12 years ago. It has to be almost like a dollar cheaper 12 years ago. Today. Oh, way cheaper than for that. everything. Listen, the flat rate more. 10, 12 years ago was the flat rate envelope was 575. Yeah, I think. And I how much that. is it now? Eight and eight twenty. Disney right? passes back in the early 2000s were 400 dollars for the top level. Now they're 1400, and they have Gosh. blackout dates. So, mm. so there's money. <laughs> money. Wow. Can you pay more to get no blackout so Dave, dates? Though? This should yeah, encourage yeah, you to get that Roth IRA. Because yeah. even if you have I a pile have of money. Roth IRA. No, you don't. No, I you just don't. am you not putting money 401k. into it. Well, I have sure. the Roth thing, too. I have a Roth yeah, have, 401k. I have, Funny thing with money. I have a Rothman it, as just, well. Where do I keep all these billions? I don't know. It becomes so, worth less every day. So, you you know. You gotta make I like convert, four I convert all of my it. money into Arby's gift cards because they've got mm. the meat. They have. You know, all of it. I can't eat at Arby's Meats. ever since I went and I saw Meats. ants crawling on the cookies, and I was like, eh, I think I'm good with Arby's. So Dave, you, you sat in front of the computer all day yesterday. Oh, and you said you worked hard. It, it was mentally. The, except for when mentally. my show came on, you're like, you put the dib dip thing up there, like, ah, screw him. At the end Probably of the night, stop streaming it on ADH Dave. At the end of the night, yeah. You didn't I did, want me I did. to be J Rod. Dude, I was too tired. <laughs> That's what I, I you was, did to me. I was I was exhausted. I just I was like, yeah, I'm done. The way no, I had hey. it set up, I could not make noise near the computer. That was the worst thing. Like I couldn't mute mm. myself because I don't have a mute button on my mic. You couldn't yell at so your kids. The only so way I could to go like, get Taco Bell. It, so cough, be tooting like things like that, be tooting. anything like that, I'd have to like leave the room. If you called me, Kevin, I'd have to leave the room. Like it was, mm-hmm. it was not the perfect setup. I need a mute button on my mic, and maybe I can make that happen. Dave next was just calling happen. people and talking to them right there, right there on the show. Yeah, lit with um, it, them hearing. Grandma, hearing. me, good. Mike. Good. People like it. Just calling people. Listen, I mean, I'm not going to do what, that again. But it was, I think, for the a, first. A thing. big thank you. This is why. I didn't do this on my own. Does anybody out there think I could have pulled this off on my own? You didn't pull it off with us. (laughs) Jeez, I don't get. I gave him a compliment. I can't even get like. No, you did. You did wonderful. You. I think you you were the number one. Get the people up. You had the most sales of everybody, Kevin. You're number one. Which you you talk a lot about how important that is for you. Yeah, I sent you the stats. Did you see the stats? You were number one. You were number one. You did good, Kevin. I'm proud of you. I think like most sales or most money, dude. Okay, so this is cool. Just the best. I want to talk about the bash. Don't let me forget, Carrie, to bring up the bash after this. But I do want to say what I think is so cool about the dibdit thing is Kevin, yes, of course, sold the most, but he also did three streams. So it kind of makes true. sense that he sold the most. Oh, the come number on, dude. Two, two streams the number, were utter failures. Hold on. The number two performer on on yes. our basic whatnot stream was Alicia, the inked yeah. picker, who yeah. you can ask Alicia. She'll tell you it's hard for her to get five people in a whatnot yeah. stream. And she had like 100 the whole time. But who she did Alicia fair follow? value. Uh, she followed, um, it wasn't me, it was maybe Tim over the years. I think it might have been Tim over the years. That was definitely so, the best part of it for me. Was seeing, it was like, you people... and me, Dave. Because it was Tim to me, I failed. You started, I started, followed you and me, we both rated her. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Either way, yeah. though, it's she a, killed it's a, it. my point is, like, she normally can't, uh, can't get a lot of people in her whatnot options yeah. and because of this platform she was able to and people still got deals it's that like what not on, in a but group. she got decent money it's like you're not you said it i think or somebody said it. it's like what not but you're not alone yeah, yeah you're no, with cool. a which is good because i ought to fail alone Dave. the third <laughs> third ranked performer me. third ranked performer picking no, and punching. i'm not even picking in the top three no i'm not there even you in the top three me you know picking yeah. and punching was there so I, but I we need to have nice. that's the thing about this that's cool is is we can bring an audience to people that have great stuff, that are good resellers, that have a hard time bringing an audience. I had a blast yesterday. Was I was fun. able to approve people like while I was doing the live because I could like talk to them, and be like, "Hey, this is what I want you to sell. This is how to sell it. Things like that," mm-hmm. so that I could like onboard them slash approve them right during the. So live. all the so things cool. you didn't do with Carrie 
So they dude, I'm wondering doing... though if at some point we should do a trash to cash live where we just like, you know, sign up for hey, did it and the bash. Just go through applications. Yeah, I'll bring the cool. trailer to the bash. We'll get Mike on there. We'll sell. All right, yeah. Stuff. Let's talk about the bash because it's coming, and we have to thank our two sponsors for it. Vendu, an amazing cross listing app that actually I just found out has a D list relist feature where you can mass relist D list as sell similar basically ten items at a time. Uh, to keep your store, you know, a lot of people do that to kind of keep the store going. They can do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so Vendu, thank you so much for sponsoring. And then my reseller Genie, which guys, tax time is oh, come coming. Up. Code ADH Dave, tax time is coming. <laughs> and oh, also, Vendu's gonna have a forty percent off coupon here soon. I'm gonna try to figure out the code, but it's it's coming. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the the my reseller Genie thing, they're probably gonna maybe 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 visit the trash to cash bash, Kevin. They might come. Really? Yeah, they might come. Um, they're going to be wow. very disappointed with how they spent their money. So <laughs> it's not going to be a good, good thing. It's a horrible investment, but you know what? Thank you for it. We appreciate it. Oh, um, Faith, just don't do it. Yeah, don't no, do come, it. Come, come, come. Well, we're going to play mini golf, oh, guys. Okay. I think that's, that's going to be true. worth it. And guys, I know we still have a handful of tickets. We are we are finally starting to come near the end here, but uh, I want to, you know, last little pitch, a last ditch effort to get you to come. Mama Picker's coming. She's going to be Ooh. there. You're going to get to meet the Mama Picker at least on Friday, I maybe mean, that's on Saturday. That's worth it right there. That's yeah. worth I'm the surprised you're letting her come. You're I'm a little nervous about with her. It. I yeah. am a little nervous <laughs> about it. She's, you know, at least you have canon, to tell her what to wear. Yeah. You yeah. tell her, you know, yeah. it's, these are off topic comments. Yeah, these are not. <laughs> these are not appropriate <laughs> can't talk about topics. These. <laughs> yeah. So, people, anyways, but Mama Picker will keep her away from the will be there. You'll see, yeah. you'll see, swinging, sauced up Kevin. Kevin's gonna be no, lit up. God. He's gonna be drunk. Yeah. As I've a got. Did you see the person the, the other day in the thing? They asked me. In the, yes, I, I was so dipped good. it. Like, yep. What the? Are you really? <laughs> are you really? Like, <laughs> it's Lord, no. I love it. I love mm. it. It's such a such a such a joy that you get annoyed by that stuff. I had mm. Okay, so I have a question, and I think this is a yeah. good one for the Christmas time. It's a little late, but for next year or for the birthdays next coming year, up, never what do late. you think the best gift is to buy a reseller? Because here's I the thing. I did a video about it. Re- did you really? So my thing is, like, okay, tape is a business expense, so you're just going to buy it for yourself. Like, I'm saying, like, something that they're actually going Quality to enjoy. I would love tape. if somebody bought me tape. I would love that. Just give me 20 bucks and I'll buy my board. own tape. Commonwealth, my go-to tape. But just, just give me 20 bucks and I'll buy my own tape. Like, oh, I'd rather somebody buy it for me. Then you know how to go buy it. Listen, but if you, all right, so I did if, a video. If you had that this. 20 bucks, Kevin, you could buy it and then write it off. Meaning I did a video, top taxes. 10 gifts to buy Write it off, it's free, I think. It's just, did, we, <laughs> did you guys coordinate <laughs> no, so you could plug a Kevin video? Is that what I didn't top, know you had a video. No, this, this, such a this video is two years old, dude. It would perform yeah. terribly. It, it was sounds awful. like a but dumb idea. Yeah. Back, it was three years old back then. I don't know. It was Christmas time, and I'm like, "All right, let's do this video." And I plugged all my affiliate stuff in there, so I did top ten gifts. So okay, and then so I'm like, you know, get a Rolo printer and plug this thing, and like and different little things, like a little I don't know, big Scotty Peeglers, and I put all kinds of stuff in there for stocking stuffers. I thought it was a great video. Just work tools. That's like if I was to like buy a maid some Clorox. What like, is, that's not what a, is fun a reseller gift. gift that's not a work gift? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Like, something fun. Like, okay, my point, okay. Kevin, like you're making nice my point. Chair, my nice point chair, is, ergonomic chair. My point is, my point is especially for I'll an everything that. reseller like Carrie or you or me, everything <laughs> that's like a physical good out there, it comes in and out of our inventory all the time, and we decide not to yeah. keep it. Mm-hmm. So how do you give sure. them something that they're going to keep and not sell? Like, that's like, I, if I uh, could carry for cards... Me. No, He's here's the thing with cards. I was going to use that analogy. The key with, with me with gifts is stuff that I, I like see that doesn't saying. have value. So like when I collect cards, uh, which I have a hard time doing because I sell everything, is I pick players from when my youth that don't have a lot of value. Wow. Uh, I like because there's no temptation to sell them. If that That's an interesting idea. So find something meaningful like a – yeah, like a Mighty Ducks action figure, not worth much. Yeah, like it's so worth not, five or ten I'm bucks. Not Might as well just sell keep it. I would like say it. Uh, Death Pile's poor pig would be good because you can't sell them, and that's true. You know. There's no market for them, really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Call bigger mm-hmm. fanny true. pack. I don't know. I, I think I just, <laughs> and I think part of it is I'm just struggling with like gifts, like what to get people in general because mm. it's because you would right? sell them. So well, well, not even that, but like hashtag get me about... a gift card for Christmas. You, yeah, you gift come... cards, dude. I think my son brought it up. He said, oh, yeah, Dad, now that I, like, can earn money, 
I don't know what to ask for for Christmas because I can just earn and money buy by what I myself. Want. Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's very true. It gets weird with gifts. You have to almost start doing like the really sappy like photo albums and stuff, which I don't really like those either. I, I don't know. But Kevin, photo right, albums? Just... Who does a photo album? I don't know. Yeah. Write them a song or a poem. <laughs> I'm just starting to think like, Nerdy what could you do that you? would be in a. I don't know. I You're going to write your kids a poem. Yeah, yeah, my Dave's parents gave me a this. photo album. I'd run away. I'm not talking about for <laughs> kids. I'm talking about like an adult to an adult. Like if I want to give mm-hmm. Carrie a gift. What would I give mm-hmm. him? I give him some cards. He'd be like, oh, cool. Mighty and Ducks like, hey. VHS sealed. It's just, <clears throat> yeah, it's just the thought that counts when we're old. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. It's true, though. That's true. Because I don't care. I, I don't care. My wife, they're going to buy me stuff. It's like, uh, that's awesome. Thank you. Don't you think, it like, doesn't matter what it is. I feel like there's two ways, uh, three ways you go, right? Like, if you start being like Three a ways, Kevin. Whatever, Kevin's ears perk Kevin's up. Kevin's three ahead. ways, yeah. You can become <laughs> like a hoarder and just hold on to everything. You can become like an aggressive seller who just sells everything. And then, you know, the last one is, is I don't know, what do, what do I want to be? Because I don't want to sell everything, but I also don't want anything. Yeah. You <laughs> well, got the rotation truth, down, dude. though. You rotate your thing. I rotate now. the collections. Yeah, yeah that I feel like I most resellers are, in, in a sense, like shoppers and shopaholics. They enjoy mm-hmm. buying it's stuff. It's the shopping, you, not the owning. Yeah, it is. It really is the that rush. That was never like, me. That's what until, they like until a little cards. while ago. I, I the rush of I finding and then I want to get rid of them immediately. But yeah. now, especially, I just love the, the I mean, the 80s stuff. I just love it. And so I want to keep some of it. I still sell a lot of it, but I want to keep some of it. I don't know. I think that, I guess, <clears throat> becoming a reseller is a really good way to become a non-materialist and a minimalist. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> You're the most minimalist, maximalist minimalist, minimalist ever. <laughs> I'm not a minimalist, but I, yeah, right? Like, you really wish you could you be have a minimalist. But stuff, but you don't want You any. hate it all. Like, uh, my mom's friend comes over and she's like, oh, you have so much stuff, you must be rich. I'm like, no, I just, I'm selling it all. And <laughs> yeah. she's like, oh. I was like, I don't want it. I Wait want till nothing. You see my storage container. Like, I almost feel like retirement from a re- for a reseller is like a tiny little cottage on the beach with nothing in it. This and that's like not, retirement yeah. where you're just free no, of Dawn stuff. has told me There's many nothing. times she just wants like a room with nothing on the wall and just <laughs> yeah. clean. Seriously. Just to clean you can just sit in it with a TV and that's it. Uh, I think there's some legitimacy to that like, for sure. I, I'm I'm hate like I was looking at my office little area, my garage today, and I just hate it. Like I, <laughs> I'm like I literally really? to the point where I'm like, I it's such a mess. There's so much crap in here. And I've spent a lot of time. My unlisted shelf in here is almost completely empty. Wow. But I'm still like just overwhelmed by crap in here. And I'm I'm thinking, Kevin, of going back down the the D list everything organize everything wow. clean the whole thing again because i, I oh, think there's like a doing mental that for freedom more views. don't <laughs> no, don't lie to the people listen, well no it's a combination of right now my sales are slow mm-hmm. it's end of year when i had a job back in the day we would do an mm-hmm. annual inventory at the oh, yeah. in the week between christmas and new years we would just count mm-hmm. all the inventory make sure our inventory numbers were right and i recently got almost banned on mercari for losing a lot of orders. So, Kevin, <laughs> I underplayed it when I told you. I told you, I said, yeah, I've only canceled like five orders. I looked, it was 18. I've canceled 18 <laughs> orders on Mercari <laughs> since June. 18. And which which to me just tells me I'm still not, still not organized enough. I just, just got not. a Poshmark order today, and I think I'm going to continue my 80% cancellation streak because I have no idea if I have it. I'm just going to cancel it. I don't want to deal with it. So, so they messaged me. They messaged me, and they said, we have deactivated all of your listings. You, you have no more listings on Mercari. Luckily, they didn't ban me or anything. They just mm-hmm. deactivated yeah. them, and I can literally you just go in and hit activate. $30 on, a year if they 600 deactivated times. you. 600 yeah it's like they didn't have the guts to ban me because i'm like their top five <laughs> seller i've sold two thousand in the last six months they're it's like, like kevin don't ban can do him. anything don't on, ban him kevin can do anything on bonanza they don't care they're not like, gonna I'm sell, I'm so sell body parts we that. don't care we're not checking yeah, no yeah. bonanza takes stuff off look this is i want to talk about this but i'm talking about it later because of the whole rock star thing i did well i don't want to tell anybody because one foot flipper will steal right the video thing. idea. Well, yeah, no. No, the the lawsuits and all that. Because oh, yeah, yeah. I hate when I don't have Eight the answers lawsuits, to stuff. Yeah. And some of that stuff I don't have the answers to because I don't think the courts have the answers to it and they can't figure it out. But yeah, I actually, I don't know why I got off on this tangent. There was something. Oh, it's because Bonanza actually Bonanza, takes probably. down more listings than any other platform. But they take them down very quickly, like as they're posted. That's nice. And I guess I, prefer that. I would... I would prefer that too, 
I prefer them not taking stuff down. I mean, some of the stuff's ridiculous. I mean, you take well, I mean, them down a vintage Redskins uniform. A, a day, and it's just a dude in a cam- cabin on dial-up dude, in Montana. Whatever. Dude, I sold nine things on Bonanza in December. Nine. So, mm. there you go. Listen, I fixed mine last week. I haven't sold anything. It's a problem. I still don't. Somebody's I'm got not on it, technically, out. but yeah. I'd yes. rather I'd rather them take you down Sorry. than to make punitive action on you later, like is what you see on eBay sometimes. It's so yeah. ridiculous. So what I've learned, guys, here's the life lesson. If you cancel 18 items in six months on Mercari, <laughs> they will take down all your listings. Now, Not they, also said, they also said in the email that if I continue to cancel, they will ban me from the platform. Right. So it is possible to get punished on Mercari. Uh, no one thought yeah. it was possible. It oh, is. I thought I'm, I'm Did Kat get kicked off on Mercari? Oh, I don't know. I maybe she did. Listen, I, I initially, when you told me this, Dave, I'm thinking, I thought Vin has got an automatic do list and whatever. And then I remembered that you were cross listing to Dibdit, and that was some of the issue. But I Dibdit think caused some of it. The whatnot biggest issue was whatnot. And mm-hmm. this is Dave. And I could, when I see you do this on whatnot, I'm like, dude, this is not going to end well. Is you'll take something off of your shelf and Art sell does it, it that too. you know you I have do it too. Art it does it too. Art does it too. Someone will be like, yo, you got this. And Art will be like, yeah, I got, I got a Red Bull yeah. cooler. <laughs> I've had, people, right that, that, I've had people eBay. look it's on my on eBay. eBay. Yeah. I've had people look on my eBay and have me pull stuff in the middle yes. of whatnot. Yeah, yeah I've done that too. Wouldn't you like write a note to yourself before yes. you did and it? And then I will put forget it on your to do take a picture. Screenshot. Okay. Oh, but honestly, come like, on, dude. so a big part of it was <clears> actually, and I explain it in my video. Go watch my video if you want to learn exactly what like I canceled stuff for, because I'm not going to get into the 18 cancelizations here, but mm-hmm. it's in my, my latest video, which is a number one out of 10. <laughs> Thank you, Mercari. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> Immediately knew, I right? had a one out of 10. I was like, Dave's yeah. killing it over there. I'm like, oh, he's chomping at the at my heels here, killing yeah, me. Yeah, Dave's yeah. going to be the star, which is good. No, j is like going to be the star. Oh, fine. Chill out. J-Ride. Yeah, the gosh. Do we, need a, do we need a... Do we really need to feed into the J Ride thing any more than it's already? He's already no. like the next Harry. Tornado. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of hype about him being there's next, a lot the of next hype about J Ride. And, and oh. let me be honest, I've take us with you, J Ride. I've, <laughs> I've hung out <laughs> with J Ride. I've hung out with him. Disappointing in person. I just uh, want to put yeah. that out there. <laughs> <laughs> he. Uh, I just had to say the one negative thing about Jake. Jake's an awesome guy. Well, he yeah. needs to bring a little bit more fire over there. He's like, oh, I don't want to sell these expensive things over there. He we is. Can, do you sell the fire? We'll he's get a tactician. Money. That dude is a tactician. He really is. Everything he does is super intentional. You watch his, like, um, TikToks mm. and stuff. Well, He'll mispronounce stuff on, on purpose just to fire people mm-hmm. up. He's very smart. But hold on. So yeah. so it's an interesting kind of topic. Mean. And this, this applies Tornado to... Harry Tornado wouldn't do that because he would mess stuff up and not even realize he did it. <laughs> this applies to reselling in general. What they're referring to is, is J-Ride was selling on our Dibdit raid train. Okay, yes. and on the Dibdit raid train, he brought things like single cassettes, which mm-hmm. they're fine, but they're not going to bring big money, right? They're just not. A single cassette. Maybe well, like the lots. Too, he, brought, but... he brought some other stuff, but the vast majority was like CDs <clears throat> and cassettes, which, you know, even on eBay, a lot of times you can get 4 to $7, sometimes free shipping for that sort of item, right? It's just not a huge, huge dollar amount item. Um, and uh, like Carrie said, it was intentional. He didn't want to put like, you know, stuff that he might lose a lot of money out on. At least that's which what is Carrie what people says, do on what? Not. I think which it's is what? A which exactly my point. If you look at our sales, our raid train yesterday, J Ride had the mm-hmm. lowest revenue out of anyone by a long mm-hmm. shot, by a long mm-hmm. shot because he wasn't. And the bringing, most people. And the most people in his stream. So I think he could have made a lot learn. more if by he remotes. brought better stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I think. But uh, he that's made me. Point. I'm a fan now because he said he he watches my show every day. Dude, you're a fan. And every then... time J Ride is <laughs> no, live, Kevin, you're in there kissing Kevin, up. Every he said he time. watches your show I'm, to get I'm... ready for bed because it makes him sleepy. Let's <laughs> no, let's say what he said. No. Then he said to what's <laughs> what, his name G- show the my boring reseller life, and then he falls asleep. Uh, he watches me, but he least... watches me in the prime of the day, right when he wakes up and <laughs> is hungry. For, James, my boring reseller life. He's being honest about it. He's mm. telling you straight up with the title that you're going to be bored. You're going to be bored here. Gonna, just like, come, come into a Kamala Picker video expecting to fiddle dance or whatever the heck I would expect going into your video. He, and it's just <laughs> wall He says he boredom. never watches Picker videos, you know, garage sale videos. A lot whatever. of people don't. Because, well, I understand it, but it's, mm. and I said, you'd watch Picker videos if you lived where I live. Because he's out there picking the thrift stores, apparently, in the land of milk and honey out there in Utah. Because they got good thrift stores. Because they he's don't an have an hour and a half here. away. So, and so I, I say they don't have good thrift stores here. And did you see that vase that sold for a hundred grand that was found in a Virginia good How far away from here. you was that, Kev? It was a good yeah. bit. I don't know, a couple hours, two, three hours. But that, yeah, you should have got it though. I feel like that was your. Yeah, I feel like that you. Oh, I, I feel like that should have been yours. Yeah. 
You should have well, been there. Or at I least your wife, you because should... she goes to Goodwill. I saw it on Dude, your thumbnail. not two hours away. She would have been at that Goodwill should... if you hadn't yelled at her every time she goes to you Goodwill. You should send that person who sold the vase a <laughs> cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> I love okay, it. I love it. So, so, okay, so here's the question. What is your f- personal... I asked ChatGPT to give us a question related to Christmas. <laughs> Here we this go. is what AI it came up with. It's podcast. not great. It, it says, what is your personal favorite item to resell during the Christmas period? Mm. Kevin's is salad shooters. Mm. Or, or no. the cookie things. No. What are the cookie things? <laughs> Listen, Super shooters. I, used to, I found zero of those. I sold none at Christmas. I used Dude, to I sold one for everywhere. $17. Yeah. They're not worth very much right now. Well, you they sold. don't do as much as they used to. Yeah. I, I mean, back in the day, used ones were going for like 50 bucks, and I had a sealed one sold for 100 but not anymore. We sold people two don't like them Disney, anymore. like vintage Disney Christmas stockings for like one was like fifty five and one was like thirty or forty this week. The wow. Don damn it dolls, damn it dolls are hot, yeah. hot. Yeah. I've been selling a fire out of them. That's good so stuff. you can't sell the fire out of something. That sounded yes, stupid you can. when you said that. I sold the selling fire. the fire it out like of something. You were trying, it sounded like trying, trying to be like a high school kid. I'm gonna sell the fire out of it. Apparently they're on fire, and he's selling the fire out of them. Sales are bananas. B a n a n a n a n a n a s. I don't know how many NAs there are on bananas. I'm gonna read this. comment. a good try to be cool. Top Are you wearing Jankos? Seriously. Yeah, dude, are you? you got I just want people on. to know I wear pants. You I wearing wear some pants. stussy, bro? <laughs> Why wouldn't you wear pants? <laughs> Why wouldn't you wear pants? Nobody wears pants during these shows, but I I'm wear pants. Shorts. No shorts. pants, fully shaven. Let's go. Mm. Okay, I've got 100 part. episodes under my belt and the ab- of this abusive podcast. I think I'm done. Take you care. Reading your that own was my comment? post. I did. I'm reading yeah, my own. own comment. <laughs> the ego on good. this you guy. Want, I know. First, <laughs> well, he, first he divided it up by even writing that comment so people would tell, like think he was leaving. <laughs> guys, I was it's, trying a, it's to my 115th ep- episode, guys. My 115th well, episode. Technically, I missed like four uh, or five too. episodes. Where yeah, Larry it's probably Tornado more like your 96. Yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of, I need another break. Uh, it was a good run. Uh, come on, Kevin. You take it so well. You're the scapegoat of the trash to cash. Oh they fall apart without yeah. you. Look at this. Like he just that. wanted He just wanted to read compliments about himself. No, they're not this all compliments. Like... Taking your tiny ball and going home. Tiny balls. Yeah, that's so... Tiny balls. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed. Although they said wouldn't blame you. That was good. What are you yeah, experiencing? What are you experiencing? Bullying? I'm pretty sure some legal right. I don't know. A quitter. Uh, <laughs> like Dan, that what one. is this? Quitter. Later, dude. <laughs> He's American Arbitrage later, dude. <laughs> well, I was trying to be later, dude. I was just letting you know that you didn't have to announce your departure. You could just leave. They we wanted want a history to, lesson on We want goats. you to stay, Kevin. Is that what you want listen, to hear? We want you to stay. Phil asked a question on Patreon. Phil said, oh, what is the deal with the upside down pineapple? Why is it a swinger thing? And what's the history there? Is that the one? You notice how has. Kevin said, oh, that's a good one? That is a good one. Kevin. So, like, no, not Google. Not, We're going to chat GPT it. Yeah, we're gonna chat. We're gonna ask. Joe Bart it. it says. Bart it. I just so we want get you to correct information. That they're not asking me, which means they know I don't know the answer to this. You probably you do know the answer. Yeah, I'm sure you know. The I answer. think a pineapple means something about welcoming or something like that. The and then upside down means really well. Of the upside down pineapple with the swinger community seems to have evolved over time <laughs> without a clear cut origin. Initially, it is believed that swingers placed an upside down pineapple in their grocery trolleys to search for others in the lifestyle. <laughs> That's why you always do that, Kevin. When you go to <laughs> no, That's why you're yeah, always I... shopping cart uh... with pineapples in it. Oh, and they, they – okay, so listen, guys. If you have someone in the neighborhood who puts the symbol on their mailbox, then you'll know what that person's looking for, and you can give Kevin their number. I'm pretty and... sure if it's anywhere. I mean, really? If you put an upside-down pineapple, like, on a flag, on anything. I feel, I feel bad for the one person. I feel bad for the one person who just has upside-down pineapples as decor, who just doesn't know <laughs> how you're supposed to display a pineapple. <laughs> you're getting which, which is the top? I don't even, I don't even know what the top is. the top? I don't know. <laughs> I've never eaten one of these. <laughs> lawyers, one of these. <laughs> lawyers, Guns, and Money says it's been painful to watch you continuously be the butt of their gross jokes. You've never belonged with these two guys. You have too much class. Oh, you leave that. Them? You Death Pile Picker says, they believe that. Bye. "This guy, this guy makes himself the top top comment just so he can talk about himself for an extra 20 yes, seconds." Yes, he there said you that. Thank you, said Mike. That. Death Death Mike knows exactly <laughs> what the truth is. He wrote the comment, then pinned it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of neurosis is that? I did not pin it. Did I pin mm-hmm. it? I did not. Pin I'm it. sure you pinned it. But He's in it. I did not pin it. The one person Kevin loves is some Kevin. We know this, guys. 
Uh, we have to take a brief moment here to thank our yeah. Wealthy as a Kevin tier ah, Patreon members. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, order at use.com. CJ Benz Find. Thank you, CJ Dealer, Benz. The Flipper Skipper, Lady Arbitrage, No Nose Skipper. Picker, Remarkable, Brian Samport, Beal, Happy Hound Trading, Harry Tornado, Superhero Headquarters, Vintage Tornado, Sports Flips, <laughs> PaulsMerch.com, ABC Matt, Brian <laughs> Bigginfun, <laughs> New Jersey Picker, Race Hack Resell, Logan Merch, Park County Picker. That's not, he's not doing it anymore. I just like saying his name and Biscuity Butt. So, yeah, thank you, guys. And a special thank you to all those who need to be motivated by Kerry. He will get on it, and it will be at the end of maybe this episode even. I think a yes, Christmas tree. Do, do you have a Christmas can... tree in your house? I feel like I you do. don't. I do. Oh, you do? I okay. Do. Hey, how yeah. dare you? I have I have Pokemon uh, Christmas bulbs, and we have a Snoop, Snoop Dogg on the top I think, of the tree. Can you get a fire roaring in the fireplace and do, like, we a very classy... A... We don't have a like, fireplace in our apartment. Motivational thing. Well, some Christmassy motivational speech would be great for the end of this video for uh, Dawn, <laughs> your own girlfriend. <laughs> Harold Tornado, uh, paulsmerch.com, and Brian Big, and also fun. So you got four of them to fun. do. I'll so do thank it. you, Patreons. Guys, if you want to join our Patreon, please do. The link is down below. It's a great way to support the, the channel. You know, you don't need to, but Kevin gets mad if you don't. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, and if you could down below time mark this, we're at about fifty five minutes. Let 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 everybody know what you're thankful for regarding Kevin. Yeah, what like a Kevin, Kevin specific. Compliment. What parts of his personality and what he gives to the community are you thankful for? Why is Kevin uh, the so best member of the that. podcast? Yeah, why is he so amazing? We'd love to know. Yeah, is it possible Ch for us to ever get near? Sorry, go ahead, Kevin. Oh, we're just Kathleen says Rita was. This is totally off topic. So Rita was Maria Carey. Right. Rita Moreno right. and Natalie Rita. was Maria. No, yeah, or, Rita Moreno yeah. was um, Anita. Uh, Rita was Anita. Yeah. And then I don't know what you're talking about. The other person. Yeah, this is some West Side mm. Story talk. Uh, mm -hmm. Gonna live the... in America. Anyway, so I don't know, Kev, you think I should do it? Take down all my listings, completely <sighs> sort everything. But here's <clears throat> one of the big things I'm considering no. doing the Kevin method and sorting inventory by item type. And this would help <gasps> oh, me do my it. Oh, gosh. Really? I want to yeah. try it. Well, because I want to try it. I haven't tried it yet. And I want to figure out what I think the best thing is. So That's just like with the cross listing. Year. Yeah, so if I don't like it as now? much. By right now, I just put them in like locations. Yeah. And like, so you got, okay. So everything's mixed up. So like I'll have a shoe and a micro machine in one bin. Like it's, you yeah. know, so I, I'm thinking. I'll tell you what, it controls buying. And I don't know if it'll work for you. So like when I have my shoe bins full, I am not buying shoes. When I have mm. my, you know, asking my my granny square bin full, I'm not buying them unless they're like super daggone cheap. You have a granny square bin? See, that's the I thing do. that I struggle with. Like, what bins do I need? What, you know, what is like? Well, the only your person who has that in the world. <laughs> <laughs> your bins will be determined by what you typically buy, not by what I buy. Uh, right? Okay. You're gonna have. Yeah. Much more of the. Like, I have a whole I have, shelf with organized sports cards. You probably don't like need that. Your Dave. plush bin. No. You're gonna have. You're not gonna have one plush bin. Like I have that rack of. I'm gonna have like a plush I shelf. Put them in. Yeah. And I have a plush. You know, so it's different. Right. Topia. You know, mm -hmm. I, I I think you could do it. It didn't. I think well. you could do it. Are you talking about not doing skews? I'll still do skews just to be safe, but the skews will be like so. Like all my plush, plush will go on bin? one shelf. Seems like a waste. No, I won't call it plush bin. I just already have these stickers on my shelf. It'll just be like, I'll just write that in you there so I know which shelf them. it's on. <clears throat> well, it, why not? If Because it takes time to put in the skew. It does not take that much time. Yes, it does it take time. time. Not it that much time. time. It takes time. It takes, it takes time. time. Here's, I don't use this for multiple time, reasons, you know. but... And I'm not saying it's not the right way to do it, but I don't use them because... But is that the big negative, that it I, takes 30 seconds? My items are already put up in the shed before 30 seconds them. is plenty of time. After they're pictured, they get put up. Yeah, but I don't, have a, I don't have a giant employee team like you do. I don't... Ha oh, my God. <laughs> dude, giant. This is ridiculous, it's like The dude. processing team has already taken the photographs and mounted them on the no. wall. Like, what? <laughs> Gosh, dude. I don't have a processing team. I'm sorry. I don't Kevin. have a processing team. Eat well, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the truck's full. Go out. empty it. And then his family goes get up and from out it. from under this tree. No, I don't want to get up. I out. pulled the truck up back there. I sort it, and that's what's helpful for it. This is what's really helpful. And I know you don't do this, but when we when I put it in that shed out there, formerly known as Supply Hut, I need a new name, new sponsor out there, y'all. Come on. Yeah. I put them in bar. there, and so the and so there's bins in there that are already separated so it's like pull out the plush bin take pictures of it put it in the plush bin my inside. problem with that is there would be like certain bins that never got listed because i'm like i'm not bringing that bin in i'm not bringing the sneaker bin in because then i'm gonna have to list sneakers 
<laughs> See, I hide the sneakers at the bottom of the plush bin, so I'm like, oh, I gotta list some sneakers. <laughs> oh, very good. So you've already brought it in. It's like in. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, oh, do yeah, it you gotta trick yourself. That's so, good. Uh, Carrie did bring up uh, Bard. Okay, and Bard is like ChatGPT's competitor, and it's it's absolutely horrible. We determine why, why is he leaving? This is he's, he's just doing upset his drugs about everything. Again. It's his age. Um... He's doing his drugs. Uh, so no, I, you know, <laughs> so we tested it, and it wasn't good. It, it was That's full cool. of crap. But there is a feature Barrett was telling me about that you can actually send Bard a link to your podcast and ask it what the best part was, and it can actually like listen to your podcast Ooh. and give you a review. So I said, what is the best let's, part of this podcast episode? And I sent it a link to our last episode. In this podcast episode, there are a few very funny moments, but the funniest is probably the part where Kevin is talking about his internet connection. <laughs> he says that his uncle got Starlink internet, which never happened, which is supposed to... But he's gone again. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Kevin, know this is about saying. you. Which is supposed to be a lot faster than the internet <laughs> Kevin has. Kevin then says he's going to have to check to see if Starlink is available in his area. If it is, he's going to switch to it. How is that a that funny was, part? Yeah, Bart is terrible. <laughs> We've learned I mean, this it did from happen. the other podcast. It did happen. Yeah. So that's, that wasn't you know. funny, though. The funny part about this. Humor. Okay, no. Okay, actually, Wait hold on. The funny oh. part about this is that Kevin <laughs> is known for being very cheap. <laughs> And he's always complaining about how much money he spends on things. So the fact that he's even this considering is switching that to a more Bard expensive. Did this? Yes, Bard. Yeah, yeah Bard they watched knows our episode. You, man. This yeah. is yeah. Knows you made this up. I no, did this not is make Bard, this up. dude. This is technology, Grandpa. Yeah, this is where we're what? at. In well, the world. they don't know. They said my uncle never got it. it he did get it. Uncle oh, he John did, get did get it. Yeah, absolutely. no, it says okay. So it listens better than you. He says that his uncle got Starlink, which is supposed to be a lot faster. So it's correct, yeah. right? That's what he it says. He did get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the fact that they're even that he's even considering switching to a more expensive internet provider is just hilarious because he's so cheap. Another oh, funny gosh. moment is when Carrie is talking about how she doesn't even know <laughs> well, I tried, know what to do with all the money she is making from reselling. He says let me change it to he. He right. says that I'm he's, used to it with my name. <laughs> he says that he's just going to buy a bunch of stuff that he doesn't need and then he's going to give it all away. This is funny because it's so relatable to anyone who has ever made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people like that. All the wealthy <laughs> audience. I really related to the wealthy people. In a short, <laughs> in a short all the my I don't feel like I don't feel like outside of Kevin. Kevin might be the only wealthy person who really watches yeah. this podcast. It has to be. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement and spend money on things you don't really need. Overall, I think the funniest part of this episode are the ones where those hosts are just being themselves and talking about their lives. They're both very funny people. I'm not even. Oh, I don't both. even exist. <laughs> I don't even exist even in this in episode. The the great so chemistry. Low. Bard does not enjoy uh, Dave at that's all. That's pretty good. Uh, we we might want to do another episode. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that's that's that pretty, pretty good. Cool. So Bard can wait. Oh, dude, should we do the reseller locker room? Oh, do the reseller <laughs> locker room. Do it. <laughs> like, just say, like, what is the highlight of this episode? Yeah. That'd be pretty good. Do it. There do was it. none. Just do it. Just there was none. <laughs> It'll just say... Uh, Couldn't find it. Blank. Dude, <laughs> someone got really mad at us for making a joke about them. And we, we all Whatever. our jokes are made people in love. Jokes. All yeah, our it's jokes made, are made in love. love. We know yes. all those jokes. As opposed to other people who make videos that are... You can't tell if it's made Without in love. Without a not. doubt, we would replace Kevin with uh, Cool Kevin in a second, if that was an option. Yeah, that is no, true. You wouldn't. That's a well, lie. We well, yeah, we, we love would. Kevin too much. <laughs> we, Who we would you replace? It'd be Harry Tornado. Dave would be on the phone so fast. It'd be Josh, yeah, because Josh, Josh would just Josh like well. put a sticker over the over my face. The only on problem his, would on be like the once every four years that he has. Yeah, the that's other true. Podcast. That was yeah. a funny yeah. Instagram you put out the other day. Thank you. I like that one. That was good. Okay, I'm gonna ask <clears> you right now about the reseller clickbait. Okay, and we'll see what it says. Oh wait, let me make a correction <laughs> okay, because a lot of people doing clickbait or Mercari does indeed allow 19.99 now. They don't. Like, I did they locker don't. room, not not clickbait. Forget I it. Done that. Sorry, I'm sorry. He asked me a question. What did you say? No, guys? that's all right. I, I just want to make a correction. A lot of people corrected us last week when we said that Mercari doesn't allow. Kevin, do you think they like they when do we do a podcast? Do you think when but, we do a podcast, you could have a hat on that's not super dirty? Like, dude, we're trying to be this is a, a sweet hat. This is, is the morning. Is that like pine tar the on it though? Otani okay, morning. okay. So I gotta, I gotta say <laughs> the yeah, uh, the thing that Bard said was the best. Uh, it's pretty much all about a non-member of the podcast, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> I said one of the highlights of this episode, and it says Rachel Strickland's journey from real estate agent to successful <laughs> reseller, and then it talks all about that, and then it says tips for sourcing and selling designer items items from Rachel Strickland. Rachel's advice for aspiring sellers. Rachel offered practical advice. Maybe she should go watch uh, what's yeah. what's the lunch one? Oh, she's not on no, that. No, she's not. On the... Yeah, hey, you just... <laughs> that's like 2 years ago. Jeez. Yeah. 
Uh, I did send her a message. I was like, hey, I got to send you. I made two videos. I got to send them to her. I got some high, high end coach bags. And I'm like, you got to tell me if these are real because I think they are like five, five to seven hundred dollar bags. Really? You yeah. know what? Oh, that was down here, wasn't it? Yeah, they did good. Okay, I paid yeah. two seventy, and I think I'll make like twelve hundred off of it. So instead, I'm just going to ask it who is the funniest member of their podcast. Ooh. That'll Ooh, be probably going to be Rachel Strickland. <laughs> okay, so probably. I can't say for sure who the funniest member of the Reseller Locker Room podcast is. Okay, let's see. We're gonna I know who this. thinks they're the funniest. Who do you <laughs> think thinks they're the funniest? Oh, it's probably Archie. Archie's going to think he's the funniest. I'd is say Archie it? is the funniest. Well, I'm not saying he isn't. I'm just saying he thinks it, and he okay, probably yeah. is. Right, so it, the says, most annoying it says, I can't say for sure who the funniest member of the reseller locker room as humor is objective. <laughs> However, I can tell you that all the co-hosts have their own unique personality. Rachel's in there. <laughs> that to that. <laughs> Archie Biscuit Butt is known for his dry wit and self-depreciating humor. That is true. He it's often makes fun of himself yeah, and his own de deprecating. deprecating, yes. <laughs> and his own reselling mishaps, which can be quite funny. Shane Soda City Flips uh, is the most animated and energetic of the host. He, is, I don't know about that. I think that... Uh, I feel bad that uh, Ben is not even mentioned in this, and he's the one that's going to be most upset about this. Ben is I feel like here. Ben's going to be upset about this. <laughs> he's also prone to making outrageous claims and pronouncements. We Alex the Beard King Picker is the most laid-back co-host, as dry sense of humor often plays a straight man to Archie and Shane's antics. And Rachel is a special guest on the episode, but she seems to have a good sense of humor and is able to hold her own with the guys. She shares some funny anecdotes and anecdotes of her own. Ultimately, Ben is the least funny, it, it, and we don't even acknowledge his existence. <laughs> Ben is the least, Dave hey, of this podcast. Hey, Doesn't exist. At least they so didn't say 545. 545 five, flips there. He would have been the best one. PM on there. Uh, 545 them all PM yeah. flips. Yeah, that would have. <laughs> Rin, okay, so, my uh, so sales. Let's talk about sales. Kevin we should do one like of those crazy. for every podcast. Do one an episode. That's what yeah, we should we do. Could do. Well, yeah, like Real podcast. Seller, clickbait next yeah. time. That'd be mm -hmm. good. We got to do what's the pocket change one? The new one? With yeah, Jimmy? Pocket Lint Podcast. <coughs> pocket Lint. Starring Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Starring yeah. Dan and Demand. So, Joe. Uh, Art Joe, Vandal, yeah. even. Yeah. So, Carrie, what is your, like, you know, You're putting your big me on the mover, spot first. I have, to, I have to do research here, dude. That guy um, took down his comic book listings. I'm trolling him successfully. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> you could have got eBay to take him down if he was using your pictures. I tried that. They did nothing. I did actually really? try that. Yeah. I didn't huh. do a thing. So. I sold a lot of cool stuff, though. I mean, let's be honest. Most of it Don posted, as, in okay. fairness. That's not. But we sold we sold a, a Playmobil <laughs> lot um, for like 50 bucks. We sold a Mark Roberts. Those creepy Christmas dolls Don's been finding everywhere. Yeah. You watch our Wait, Mark Roberts isn't that like, that. that's like a Wait gnome a thing, right? Like a gnome. Yeah, they're I kind like of gnome one of those for 75 yeah. bucks. I sold Yeah, they sell for a lot. She sold two or three of them. Don, if you're listening, season. I love the technique. Don's technique is good. I, I've used this for a lot of years. Man, I don't do it as much as I used to, but she finds an item and says some of these can sell for big money, and she puts up the crazy comps. It's like, no, not this one brilliant. that I got. She does that, that is, better than anybody out there. I like she it. does, and I try to tell her because she doesn't realize how good her shorts are. I'm like, Don, oh, they're shorts, so good. They're better than mine, and for she, sure. Yeah, she does the J-Ride mispronunciation and stuff, but she, she does, doesn't yeah. even do it on purpose. She just Can I tell it. you, I was on I TikTok, okay? I don't spend a lot of time on TikTok. I do, I'm a quick pooper, right? So I don't yeah. spend much time on <laughs> A lot of dancing ladies for a lot of A lot of dancing ladies in my algorithm. But no, the problem is that I get Gary Vee a lot. And Gary V problem? does a video. Well, listen, get, get, just because Carrie's like okay. out there trying to right. solve the world problems, right? So mm -hmm. Gary V does this video about ceramic bears and how it's a mega score. And of course, like <laughs> oh, yeah, every reseller is like, what the crap is he saying? <laughs> and Carrie is the top comment in there, like, these are worth nothing. Don't buy them. Gary V's a moron. And I'm like, what? <laughs> did I say? He, did not say wow. he was aggressive Gary. towards was Gary V. And I'm just like, salty I love how Carrie thinks, like, you know no one cares about TikTok comments. Why are you trying to change the world with them? Because, look, <laughs> I know people will know who I am with my opinion. So I Let I them get a buy little... them, Carrie. That way, they've got a bunch of garbage on their eBay store. <laughs> I'm trying to heal the world, make it a better place for me and for you and for the whole thing. Why <laughs> is Gary Vee, though? Like, seriously, he was, like, one of I the founders of this. You guys have told he me did. this, that Gary Vee is, like, the, the OG <laughs> garage sale guy. Why is he showing such I horrible advice? So. That's well, horrible he, advice that he was giving. That was pretty bad advice. It's probably what, an old video, deal? for one, right? I don't know. I don't know. It was Maybe just posted. It is bad. Yeah, you're right. Of all the people, I should have kept my mouth shut because I made bad. I, I have thousands of videos with terrible buys on TikTok. I really don't Dude, need to we be. Sold, somebody sold an Avon ET mug the other day on Dibdit. 
Carrie, I don't know if you knew that you were the top rated comment. Like that is the first that. comment he will see if he looks at that video. It's well, I'm wondering arbitrage. if it's because you're my Talking friend that trash. I was at the top. But, oh, yeah. maybe. <laughs> well, he's your friend too, isn't he? On, there? on Instagram. I don't on know. Was it Instagram oh, or TikTok? TikTok? I don't think he follows me on TikTok. Who is your friend? Gary? Oh, Gary? Gary V. Gary, oh, yeah, yeah, my boy. You think just... he's posting to <laughs> He ain't posting that stuff. Yeah, he isn't. I don't think. No. I think he just gets dri- driven around all day and then just. They say, like, say something sounds important. Like Kevin. And he just he talks like about Kevin. basket weaving and then he, they post it. I, I do find it, like, a little too formulaic <sighs> at this point, his stuff. Yeah. Like. He just has like a hot just, phrase because he can right? say anything. TikTok? Buy, NF- yeah, TikTok is buy really NFTs and then like dweebs everywhere are going to be Listen, buying it's NFTs actually like they're candies, right? He creates a, a persona in in all the social media that gets tons of views, and he's his big money maker is an ad agency. So all these ad companies come to him, and they also have the added benefit of him sharing their stuff out on social media. It's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, smart yeah. actually. It's a no, good way to do no business. Doubt. He knows oh, what he's dude, doing. Seth That's Rogen just started following me on Twitter, on TikTok. Really? I don't think it's, don't think it's a real Seth Rogen, but just, someone just, named so, Seth just Rogen. another Seth? There's hey, a guy named Seth Rogen. here's something Seth for you. Rogen. New Year's is coming. I just sold something that has been listed forever. It is a, uh, what do they call those things? The bull workers, those exercise bull workers. So if you've got your athletic I mean, stuff, you've like got your. And no, I'm using it's all my school, bow flex stuff personally. Like, I can't sell it. Anyway, no, my thigh so Kevin, master, my abdomen. Yeah. Right. It's time to listen. That's all I'm technically, saying. New Year's is yesterday. So it is January 2nd. No, well, that's not still. true. That's, no, not true. that's, that's the, the next people. podcast. That's the next dude. episode. They've so got to buy need, their work. When are we going to record that? Because we don't want to record it on New Year's Eve. I think we need a Harry Tornado guest appearance is what I no, think. No, no, or no. How Tim are you getting out of this? Let's, get, let's just get the locker room to do it for us. We should have the locker room to do our podcast. That would be hilarious. Yeah, there you go. Actually, they could record it. We could bring on one foot flipper as a guest, and then they could yeah. just in the bathtub. You know, one foot flipper yeah, exactly. in the bathtub. Yeah, bathtub required. <laughs> one bathtub foot fi- flipper. Hey, I was thinking about requirements to sell on Dibdit, and I it's think interesting two feet that is the way it's laid out right? right now looks like a period pyramid, though. If you guys notice, like an inverted pyramid, like it, we're trying to say something. Yeah. yeah. Here, here's yeah. your pyramid. Let me draw a pyramid for you. All right. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all talk. And I'll, I'll, no. Okay. I'll so, so my point was, I think we probably need to record at the same time next week, Friday afternoon or something. If, if you guys are available the uh, 29th. So, yeah, we just plan our podcast on the show. Mm-hmm. Why not? I just yeah. know how livid good you content. get if I say I'm not available. So I'm available. I can do it. I, okay. That's good. <laughs> I, listen, Carrie, it's not mm. that it's not that I get mad when you say you're not available. Because usually you say you're available. It's more that I know you'd rather be sleeping than with me, and that hurts me. It's that not, hurts well, I me. Have that a... hurts my heart. <laughs> I'm here with you because I want to hang out with you, buddy. All right, yeah. here you go. Yeah. Here's the pyramid. Can you read that? Okay. There it is. There's yeah, but pyramid. if you were to draw it in a different <laughs> so shape, it dibbed, like a pyramid. Dibbed it, dibbed it, which is a combination of district, Carrie, Dave, and Kevin, and sellers with two feet. There's the pyramid. No, but see, there's some good sellers with two feet, like my friend who just sent me some honey, Death Valley Finds. I want him on there, right, Carrie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. he's got two feet. He yeah, qualifies. He doesn't have two hey, feet. Well, first off, oh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Or, he Valley talks about that. He asked, you know, first off, he was we don't asking. know. We don't know if they kept their feet or not. They could have both the feet. Still. <laughs> no, listen. He was asking. <laughs> and Carrie, Death Valley first of all, Fox. okay. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that good? We're good. Well, there might be other wow. amazing people with one Kevin foot. Kevin is burning a bridge with the one foot community. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> I like other people with one feet. People. I like them. Yeah, they're my favorite. <laughs> Who are amazing. I so, Kevin, Kevin just basically people. doesn't want Paige on our marketplace, is what That's he's what saying. He's saying. <laughs> he is, Paige, this is what hit they call me up. I'll let you in. This is what they call in the swinger <laughs> community nagging. He is and nagging other people Paige who right are now. amazing with one feet. Are you trying one to swing? With, is go. that what's happening here? Is this a swinging thing? <laughs> I I hey, know. listen, I think he's playing, what's funny yeah. is me and Paige actually agree on quite, when you listen to his videos, he's, I mean, I don't agree with everything, but, I mean, as far as people telling you, like, the straight stuff, it's... Listen, you know. Kevin, I don't know if you know my 90-day total, but it's big, mm-hmm. and this makes me yeah. a good reseller, and that's just something I think we should talk more about no, on the show. No, no, I don't, I don't <laughs> give out my 90-day total. Uh, you, I know not, your 90-day it's total. Just it's, ir- it's, it's 20 grand. No, it's more than that. 
No. Oh, I thought oh, you don't wait. give it out. Hey, why would you right, give so it well, out? Why would you, look, now we know we it's call this entrapment grams. of Kevin. <laughs> is it less? Is it less than hundred grand? Is it, is it a million? Oh yeah, it's less than it's less yes. than hundred grand. So it could be ninety nine thousand. So it's probably ninety nine thousand. Listen, I tell you what, you put yeah, Dave, you put day. Dave's ninety day total, That's more and subtract the Mercari sales, and then add the what not sales. You're you're beating a lot of people. The people don't. The, let yeah, me give Dave credit. Dave's My head. whatnot in eBay. Uh, uh, listen, I'm trying to give Dave credit. Here. Okay, I'm people ready. rip listen. on Dave all the time, and Dave rips on himself. I That's guarantee fun. you, Dave makes a lot of money reselling, I, I don't, and just well, I they don't all, understand so I don't the model. <laughs> I mean, he's not he's not trying to give himself credit right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I, just watch him, dude. The, he does the FIFO, first in, first out. The money comes in, it goes directly right back. <laughs> directly to theme parks. Disney is exactly. making so much money off Voodoo of Donuts is <laughs> raking Voodoo it Donuts in at Universal. Good. Hey, are you going to come to Disney when you're here, Carrie? Yeah, Kevin, when are you coming to town? When are you coming to town? Have you made a plan yet for the <sighs> Orlando I, I, Bash? 16th, 22nd, maybe? Something like that. Okay. Maybe I'm not sure. I gotta. You, and you're bringing your family like two cars. What are you doing? I, What's your plan? I, it is undecided what we're doing. If it's okay. me, if it's me and Turner, if it's it's undecided. Okay. Are, are we gonna do dishes during the show? Is that is that the next thing that we're doing? Dishes. dishes. Is someone doing dishes. Oh yes, my wife's doing dishes. She's <laughs> she's totally told me it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do what I want today. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, because you're in the way. You're <laughs> we're doing like, it midday, we, which yeah, I'm surprised your internet's working. That is impressive. Hey, other than I Uncle know. Steve ruining people it, people are asking other than for that. lives, but I don't do lives. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Mm. Kevin now can do lives. So if you have a show, no. just send him a message. <laughs> yeah, Kevin. No. Kevin wants to get on some uh, live. I'm not answering now. Instagrams anymore, so it's off the table. Well, no, you you still are though. Like you're just saying you're not, but you still can't. Hey, I sold a bat. I sell a bat. I haven't sold anything because <laughs> while we were doing this, I just delisted all my stuff. No, you did not. I did. It's gone. Did you really? It's uh, all gone. Did you really? Maybe. It's all gone. Go look at my store. <laughs> He's doing Hey, look, if you're going to do it, this is the time of this year. This is the Dave time of year. That's what I'm saying. Like, in the next week. Person ever. If you're going to do it, this next week is the time to do it. Up, though. Like, well, at your age, up. it takes a while to get it back up. Yeah, that's true. You shouldn't but let it get it soft there, in the first place. <laughs> once it's there, it's 15, 20 seconds, then it's back. Why that's are you on a show with these guys? You just don't fit in, Kevin. Like, They're very offensive. Way too much class. Yeah. You have way too much class. I feel it. I feel it. Every time I, I come up to you and I just I see you chewing that classy zen and you're just talking talking country. Yeah, I'm Do like, you That's think classy. we should be called the Trash to Class podcast? Ooh. That'd be kind of good. No, no. I tried to class up, dibbed it, and I got yelled at. So, listen, so. part of Kevin's job, part of Kevin's job is to give us, like, the comments of the week. His chosen comment of the week seems to be just glorifying himself. Do you have any real no, ones? No, I ripped myself in those comments. I went down. I, I feel like, oh, Josh, we missed one from Josh last week and talked about how he ran He ran 100% promotions. Did you see that? No. He was paying 100% in promoted fees and none of the items sold. Did you, <laughs> you didn't see that? Him. No, no, no. That's crazy. Yeah. Just, I don't think that's necessarily a good experiment because it's still determined by the price, right? If it's overpriced by $100 – or $50, it's not going to sell no matter what you promote it at. So that is telling people that price is far more important than promotion, just FYI. Oh, well, yeah, I think we all agree with that. Mm -hmm. That was go. it? That's all you had? That's yes, it. yes. All right. we'll That's all I got. Know. I'll find some. There's, I don't know. Dave, see if I can find something. Dave, your mic is turned down. You like that comment? I was trying to, uh, I was trying to ask Bard who the best looking of the podcast was. And it mm -hmm. said it can't find it from the metadata. I said, what if you search all past comments? It said it's this difficult to determine who the best looking member of Trash to Cash mm. is based on the data I have. The caption is mainly about the podcast episode itself and the comments from the listeners. It discusses like topics such as would. Kevin's yeah. selling habits, Dave's work hours, and Carrie's coffee preferences, which just makes sense. Me and Kevin mm -hmm. are about reselling and Carrie's about coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Don didn't get you your coffee today? No, he has she it. Did. He has I his $7 it. coffee there. $7 coffee. Think about that. $14 <laughs> a day into a Roth IRA, you'd be a millionaire by now. No, I listen, I saw it. First like off, a I need to know what a Roth IRA is if one of you guys want to break it down for me. Wow. Uh... Hmm. I mean, I've heard of it. I kind of, I think I have one. I don't know. Podunk picker, if you sell on other platforms as well as eBay, 90 day totals don't matter. Obviously. There you go. 
I'm going to ask it to look up. I'm having fun now. Can you read all the comments in the episode and provide a summarized bit of feedback for us and just yes. kind of see, like, How since Kevin can can't pull good comments. Okay. Viewers like Kevin being in the middle of the screen. This is the yeah, number that one. That is true. They are very they really adamant like about that. Kevin in the middle of the screen. Okay. <sighs> Viewers sent Kevin swing-related adult books. <laughs> this is <laughs> number that two. That is true. And please continue for the new episode. year. <laughs> viewers are curious. The, uh, library. <laughs> viewers are curious about Kevin's internet situation and suggesting Starlink. There you go. Viewers shared their own reselling experience and tips. A viewer shared a personal story about buying a moth-smelling item and questioning whether the seller should have disclosed the odor. Hey, Kevin, that would have been a good one to read. Do you know where that one is? No, it's no, I don't. But Matt's proper pursuits. Kevin's internet is so bad he can't even go to the internet to see if it if he can get better internet. That is true. Yeah, that's it true. It is a conundrum you're in. That's for sure. Yeah. I just want to see if Bard is better at Kevin's job than Kevin. So I just said, can you show me the I can't comment? provide good comments, y'all. I can't. Why? Why? Well, no, but you could at least... That that was a good one, the moth comment. That would have been an interesting topic. He so it's not the topic being, his own The topic comment. being, like, do you need to disclose odor in an eBay listing? This is the topic. Like, if something smells, do you need to write... Like, I've got mothball yes. covered... You shouldn't... Honestly, yes, if something... Mothballs is interesting. But, like, in general, I wouldn't sell something that had a... Uh, well, okay, vape, oh, vape juice. Let's vape smoke. That has a smell. Vape smoke has a smell, and I have bought clothes that smell like vape smoke, and it was not disclosed. So, should that have been disclosed? Because yeah, I don't find sure. it appealing. Yes. But, but if it's not disclosed, are you gonna return it? Or are you like? Uh, oh, I, I probably I don't return wouldn't. anything. I feel too guilty, so I just keep it and <laughs> let smell like vape. You don't return anything. I return. I don't things. like not returning much, stuff, man. I, return... I don't think I return anything ever. I got, I bought like a, I got this cleaning brush, not that you care, and it, it had a I case don't. that went with it, and they showed a picture of the cleaning brush and the case for it, and they shipped just the case, right? And so, so I'm like, what? Box only. Well, no, it was just the case for it, not even a box. And so I went to the description, and they have the information for the brush in there, but yeah. it wasn't included in it, right? It doesn't say case only or anything like that. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I went and I shipped it back to them. I'm like, this is stupid. Like, mm. you know, it's not like I wasn't paying attention at all. They didn't have that information. So, I don't know. Okay. So, what's weird <clears throat> is that one of the things Bart says is a viewer complimented Carrie on his recent YouTube success, which is <laughs> something. But the weird one is viewers are curious comment. about how Dave edits his Chex Mix videos. Is there a lot of comments about editing Chex Nothing. Mix That's videos? what I'm saying. You're searching all one. the comments. No, it's Dave. only That's searching this one video. It's Dude, searching I this see one video. no Chex Mix comments. What am I missing here? Maybe it's got a reply on it? Uh, maybe. Well, maybe. I don't know. There was one about the box tree where somebody else was ticked off at how much the shipping was. They're like, screw that. Yeah, a lot of people, I, I mean, I, I went and I bought, this is so dumb of me, I went and I bought boxes for VCRs, Carrie, uh, mm -hmm. at Uline, I spent seven bucks a piece. Dude. Seven Dude. bucks a piece. Oh my gosh. You I, can go to I Walmart, know. get to 15 by 10 by 12, and you can put the smaller VCRs. You're talking about combos? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, you gotta no, go. It wasn't even that. You it can get the big bigger. box. It was the Selectivision player. <clears throat> okay, here, here, still, it the big box is an interesting thing I down. learned from this interaction. And cut it down, you mean, right? Cut it down? Yeah, the, the, the height. That's of the it. thing I didn't, mm -hmm. yeah. $7 nothing, for a box? Nothing gets a middle aged man never more hyped that. up than talking about boxes. Look at this. He is talking about just like he I'm loves hyped. talking about. He loves talking about just like uh, shipping is what I'm saying. Uh, well, yeah, I'm tired of talking about Carrie not not having U USPS boxes for free. Yeah, what is your but problem, then you gotta, dude? Yeah, order. I have a lot of them. 1092, 1095. Of course, don't, don't ship them as much that anymore. You know what a 1092 is? I honestly I don't bet know Dawn which one does. That is. She doesn't. Mm. She does. I actually had to convince her to start using them. She thinks they're brilliant, like using the priority boxes. Oh, shocking. I mean, this is, what is wrong with you? Oh, my God. That, that's exactly that's what the podcast should be about. What is, what wrong, is wrong with Walmart you? loves. With Carrie. I'm, buy, I'm buying Walmart boxes. I, I'm just weirdly in set in my ways, Definitely. and they don't all make sense. So. They're fairly cheap, dude. You can get you can get decent boxes there. For staples, somebody said staples, you can order online. There's, there's some decent stuff out there for sure. What are you doing, Dave? I'm still in Bard. I'm still in Bard. Okay. Uh, yeah. Reading. He's AI Makes for child. great. AI Dave. <laughs> you mean I sold a cookbook mean, today for like fourteen dollars or something. I couldn't believe it, or twelve or something like that. I, I'm I'm pasting one of your videos. 
Okay. From so I'm saying dis- yeah, from Flipper. And I'm saying oh, describe thanks. this YouTuber's personality. Oh, <laughs> boy. let's do it. Let's do it. I was kind of curious what it would say, but uh, and he's adjusting it. No, I keep accidentally pacing the trash. <laughs> describe this annoying channel. YouTuber's personality. <laughs> describe this swinger's personality. <laughs> Focus on the swinging. <laughs> okay, so Kevin, what do you want for Christmas while we wait for this to do its computing? Oof. Like, what's your your lifelong Christmas wish? Besides tape. Oh, besides world peace. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, a no. tape is what it goes to. I don't, I don't to. think I have anything this year that I want. I need some new underwear. It'd be uh, nice. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Some shoes. I like I need some new shoes. Maybe a new Angel's hat. I don't know. Yeah. Carrie, what about you? Uh, just two turtle doves and a pine <laughs> tree. <tree-tree. laughs> do you what do you want, Dave? Uh what do I want? I, I want. What do I want? Hmm. He wants something like crazy. He wants like, he wants like an AI chip in his head. I don't want any more chickens. I don't want any more chickens. No more cats. That'd be good. I like that. I need some new chairs. You know the zero Kinda gravity Lego chairs. Lego set. Lego set. I'd take nice. another new zero gravity chair. That'd be good. I like a Lego some set. GoPro because batteries. I like a Lego set because I can like I can create, and I've like Legos. done something right as opposed to. Just done me, like an action figure, it just sits on the. It sits on the. I'm trying to think, maybe shelf. like the new. Uh, is I think there's a new Assassin's Creed game. I wouldn't mind that. I used to love Assassin's Creed. Do you play video play games still? I, u- I used to. I haven't. I really don't anymore. Very rarely, but I, I, I used to love video games. I used to play before Mario I was a Kart reseller. I did it a lot, and I did a little bit with Turner and Reagan, but I don't. I don't. I don't know. I was terrible. I, just I never have beat Super Mario ever. Really? Or Mario? The only one no, I really remember. I've only beat a few games. The first one I ever beat was GI Joe. Oh, no, not GI Joe. What was it? Uh, the uh, co- what was it called? The uh, the one with the shooters. Oh gosh, this, this is terrible. This show content. is going downhill. Dude, fast. no, listen. I Eight think Christmas. I think that maybe maybe I Up will get AB, AB Kevin down. might tell me. Kevin might tell me to delete this segment of the podcast, guys. Yes. So if I delete this next yes, segment that I'm about it. to tell you, it'll that be I'm about to Patreon. tell you. I want to leave Patreon. this part. Pay. I want to leave this, this part saying I might have to delete it so you know something got deleted. Yes. But Bard is a life hack to avoid Kevin's clickbait because I can literally <laughs> ask it, what is the outrageous feedback that Kevin got in his latest video, no, which is the oh, title of his video? That's such a prompted. Oh, come yeah, on, yeah, look, dude. look. And look, the seller, okay, according to the video, the feedback said that the jersey the buyer bought smelled like an ashtray, had a stain on the back, and the seller refused to communicate about yeah. it. Is that accurate? Yeah. That's what it, I got from his video. That was the negative feedback they gave me, yes. The seller believes the feedback is ridiculous, and the buyer is trying to troll him. The seller has been selling on eBay for 20 years and has almost had 100% positive feedback. They're now worried that the eBay feedback system will make it more difficult to get negative feedback removed. There you go. Now that you told me this, can I skip the vid? <laughs> no, no, you can't because that's not the whole story. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> now that you have a good understanding of the video's main points, <laughs> you can definitely skip the video if you wish. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, there go your views. I watched. I watched that video and right, he said I that. Uh, what I said. That was a full summary. Nothing. There was, was left some out. nuance to that that it definitely missed. A little. Like there a was lot. the anger, I, the I sadness in Kevin's eyes. Thought was that somebody was trolling because it's happened before i know it's happened to you guys too i it's had to have, especially dave yeah but at any rate i i sent them a message i'm like I just there's no way this could be my shirt i didn't say it like that i was super nice like hey i'll do a full refund impressive. if you're unhappy with it but i'd like you to check to make sure this was left on the right item because the item i sent you had no smoke smells it was perfectly clean no bleeding mm. no nothing and they sent me a message back and said, "You are correct. I'm very sorry. I left the feedback on the wrong jersey." Oh, so it did. Uh, it did leave a little out there, didn't it? A little yeah. bit. Little I, bit. I, I watched. A lot we did of that learn video. that about Bard. Bard is not bright, but it's confidently incorrect. <laughs> no, Bard. I love that though. There <laughs> is something bright. to being confidently incorrect, and it is very confidently incorrect. Often. <laughs> um, yeah, don't watch it. You got it all. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I love it. No, and That's we did it, stuff. Kevin. We did it. We asked it for the most disturbing scenes in Eraserhead, and it was just making up horrifying scenes that never happened. Never they, didn't, happened. they weren't even real. Like, hmm. We're like, that wasn't in the okay. movie. At so all. didn't watch the movie, Kevin. Have I will tell you though Christmas? that in that video, you sold a Chanel bag for 150 plus shipping, Family Guy DVDs for 20 plus shipping. Is that right? Chanel bag? Oh no, a bracelet. 
Oh, see, it's not, it's not doing a great job. Yeah. Eventually, bucks. it'll just give me a list of what you sold. I won't have to watch it at all. That's yeah, the goal. That's oh, somebody does that. Roy does that. Ron? Ron Figure out what the joke of the show was, then you don't yeah. even have to watch. <laughs> what was Turner's joke? <laughs> For years, Ron, there you go. For years, Ron, this, and he does it on other people's videos, too. He goes in and he, and he, and he just, his comment is everything that's sold. Wow. Or everything Did Turner not tell a joke in this episode? Uh, he tells a joke in almost every one. The outrageous feedback one. It, it can't find it. Actually, I think he did not tell a joke about it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Now oh you know God. it's no point. No watching point watching it. it if Turner didn't tell a joke. <laughs> There's nothing funny or interesting. How <laughs> much we know. Man. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one of your old ones. I want to see if I can find Turner's joke. I am. I'm. You mm. know, this sounds kind of cool. I wonder this if I could get a list of content. every Turner joke. I'm having fun, though. <laughs> Dude, I thought about making a video, just cutting Turner from, like, four years ago and, like, all his clips for, like, forever. That'd and just be cool, making, yeah. Uh, see him get older the whole time. But I figured, I don't know. I would like to watch I that. I still but, like, want someone to make to a Trash to Cash clip show. And mm. I would say, wouldn't we be willing to pay that person, <clears throat> like, 50 bucks if they brought us, like, an awesome clip show? Yeah, 50. Because yeah. then we could even... take a week off. <laughs> Yeah, that would yeah. be cool to do like a highlight show. That would a highlight show of all I, like I just the best them doing moments. It far more than trusting you two to do exactly. it. Exactly, it would just be like we like, would explicitly say to jokes. focus on Kevin. No and, funny and moments. Me. I want like the Murano crack pipe in there. Oh, I want like all our funniest good. moments. And dude, my on picker is a one out of ten too, Kevin. My nice picker's one is not. I'm so jealous, Dave. I got a one out of ten on Flipper, but not on Picker. I got like an eight out of ten. Paige said that in a comment. He said, everyone in the Picker channel or in the Flipverse, their channels are going down, but Dave's are going up. I didn't even notice until he said it. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I Give me a break. Right. You know, I just... I I'm got a one. He doesn't on care about numbers. Content. It's Dave. Dave is a superstar, y'all. Yeah, yeah, superstar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's okay, so I had a lot of fun with Bard today, guys. I hope you did, too. Also, this was kind of an episode of... Um, trash to cash and we're gonna end it here <laughs> i hope you had a great christmas and i hope you have an amazing new year's make sure you eat all right well actually before we go because i think this is important is do you have like a specific food that you just have to have every new year's like what like what is your like, like candy years? no like a food item like an appetizer honey or like tam. like you don't have to have it but you love having it at new year's it's just like is nostalgic my brother buys you. me a honey baked ham every honey year baked for tam. christmas and by the time new year's is here it's gone okay I love it. but like i'm talking on new year's eve kevin New on that Eve. specific mm. night, is there something like you like to eat, like some way you like is to? Is that celebrate? a thing people do? They have no. like specific food at New Year's. I didn't even know that was. Well, a listen, thing. I have traditions, and so a lot of people have a New Year's party, and on that New Year's party, maybe so and so always makes this dip you like, or so and so makes these wings you like, right? And a lot of people, I think, will say wings. Say in the comments below, guys, what is your like? That's you think wings you're you gotta expecting save for Super to Bowl. have? Well, also at My New Year's parties, things like that. So like. We don't ever do anything crazy for New Year's, but I do have this habit of Twilight Zone, which I think a lot of people have that habit because Sci-Fi used to do 24-hour streams. I think they still do every year of Twilight Zone episodes uh, on New Year's Eve, and, and I'd watch that. And then I always will do, like, for me, it's, like, just a bunch of finger foods, like uh, potato oh. skins, uh, mozzarella yeah, sticks, meatballs, that sort of stuff. I will like say this. Cheese dip, that sort of <clears throat> stuff is my go-to. I don't have a food, but I really like this time of year watching uh, When Harry Met Sally. Because it is a mm. Christmas New Year's movie. So, <laughs> yeah. And one of the best, in my opinion, yeah, all yeah. time. I've never we seen do it. the Grinch party every year. My wife does a Grinch I saw that, yeah. yeah. We do it every year. Grinchy. That sounds yeah. kind of cool. It's good. I like it. Green 